Are you excited? Are you as excited as I am for today's stream? I don't know, man, because I am pretty freaking pumped. Amiga love. It's first. Always first with the Amiga love. Comatron, what is up, buddy? Oh, I'm overmodulating. Hold on. I was getting too excited there. Overmodulation. Air Yuri in the hot tub in the chat. My man. X Barry PL Chest. Chest Polska. Bro Bright's health was up. Pregnant Sausage was up. Pregnant. The Pharaoh, thank you for the host. The real Tony Rocks is here. Snow Dog is here. Poetic Android. What is up, Poetic Android? Air Yuri, great to see you. Jost 80. 22 months of subs. Are you kidding me? That's dude, that is just crazy, Joe's 80. Crazy. 22 months. I, I can't believe it. It's bananas. Today's gonna be a wild stream. It's gonna be wild, weird, and wacky. Torque Soda, how are you? It is great to have you here. That's epic, right, Coma? Spinto super psyched. Snow Dog is super psyched with those Amiga Bell emojis. I'm gonna make some new emojis. I think I can I think I got space. I got upgraded for some new emoji action. So I'm gonna be adding some emojis to the stream. But you know, like what what else do you need besides the, the thumbs up? You know what I mean? Kink Endo, what is up? Amiga Love with the bits. Thank you, Amiga Love, for all the bits. Comatron, I haven't listened to your song yet. I'm gonna just do it live on stream. It's gonna be crazy. Crazy. We got giveaways today, we got games, we got Amiga News. It's gonna be nuts! But first, let's start like we always do, with a little demo scene. A little demo scene action, taking it back not too long ago to Revision 2018. If you got a volume knob on your listening device, turn it all the way to the right. Here we go!
I had my mic off. I'll try that again. A Blood Moon by Na Kalor. Fifth place, Revision 2018. I mean, that, for fifth place, that's amazing. You know, you know what I mean? These credits go on for a minute, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start now. Cause we got so much to do today. It's crazy. Mayhem, maybe. In the chat. What's up, Mayhem? Comatron, you were there. You saw, you saw this live at Revision. Amazing, amazing. I'm, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Dome Dags Poten with a massive raid. Dome Dags, thank you for the raid. I hope your stream was awesome. It is a pleasure to have you. It is a pleasure to have all your viewers. Welcome to the stream. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a wild one today. It's gonna be wild. What's up, geek dude? Akmafin, a very, very happy birthday to you, sir. It is a pleasure to have you here today. Akmafin's birthday, nuts. Crazy, it's a birthday party. Today's a birthday party. Nakalora Amiga Revision 2018. Amazing stuff. Thank you. Thank you for that. Here we go. Dome Dags again. Thank you so much for the raid. PCM goodness, Tony Rocks. It is it's a great day. I love it's a great day. Raiders from Sweden incoming. Yo, Torque Soda, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. Tony Rocks, his birthday's in three days. Nice. Yo, what's up, 10 minute Amiga Retrocast? Sanzian01 from the future with 8bit.com is here and he just subscribed. Sanzian with a year of subscriptions, dude. Thank you so much. That is super, super kind of you, Sanzian. Amazing. It's a brother Bill's here. That an Amiga rave. You know I love to rave. You know I love to party. That is my um my biggest regret is last night there was a there was a party in Brooklyn and I, I couldn't I didn't have enough energy to go. But I, I do other things, you know what I mean? <laughs> Chash to X Barry PL. Yo, Amiga DJ, what is up, Amiga DJ? Great to see you. Space Cade Farley, what is up? Sfinto777, Blood Moon, salary on a Friday. Yeah, we had, a, there's a full moon coming up here. I was thinking the moon. Twisted1981, you didn't miss anything yet. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Bitstorm found an Amiga 1200 in their garage? That is crazy. Crazy. All good in the South, ma'am? Awesome, dude. Awesome. Oh, you had a UK uh, Amiga meeting twisted 1981? Sweet. I wish I wish I could have been there. Oh, Dome Dags had a great stream and was playing games on his Amiga 2000. Oh, sweet, dude. Sweet, Dome Dags. That's awesome. The real Tony Rocks, I'm ready to go to revision. I, I want to go so bad. Sanzian, a whole year of subs. Dude, that's crazy. Thank you, Sanzian. Daniel, Dan Lehman. Dan Lehman is pronounced like Sank, Sank Topton. I, I don't know. Sanction even. I'm sorry, I don't even know how to pronounce your name. Epic Android meditates, he's no guru. Hilarious. Dude, yeah, Sanzian, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, Amiga Love, Amiga Love, this is my Flynn's Arcade Tron shirt. You know it. If 11 Tron is wrong, I don't want to be right. I was just, I was just in, where was I? I was in Minnesota, that's where I was, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I went to my favorite arcade, the Up Down. I think the Up Down is my favorite arcade, and it was, it was incredible. So I'm channeling some, some arcadeness today. 
And look at this. I'm so I'm so excited. I'm like about to knock my green screen over. <laughs> What's up, Arnouge? Great to see you. Good evening, Space Cadet Farley. I am drinking. I am drinking some Pink Lady Apple kombucha. I'm also drinking some spiked vintage seltzer. <laughs> Choosy Scott, what's up, Choosy? Amiga North tames meat, although this one we had a very large variety of machines playing at many different variants of Spy vs. Spy, nice. City Zen, greetings, where's the A500 Plus at? The A500 Plus is sick and needs to be repaired, unfortunately. Ms. DK, good evening to you. Hey, what's up, Pints and Amiga? I'm sorry I missed your stream last night. Saturdays are rough for me. I was I was out at the bar with uh with my buddy and my other priest buddy and we were we were getting it on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys could respect it, the pints. Saturdays are tough for me. I'm sorry I missed your stream, but I appreciate the notification. I'll I'll catch them. You know, I'll catch them. Monster joysticks. Monster joysticks, you will be mentioned in the Amiga News section that I'm about to do in a couple minutes. I got my monster ready to go. Same bottles your e-liquid come a nice. Night goo, what is up, Night Goo? Great to see you, Night Goo. We have so much so we got a lot to do. Here's here's the, the plan for the evening. We're gonna start off with some Amiga news. Then we're gonna do a little unboxing, although there's no real box, so it's a little bit of a show and tell of a great some great gifts that I received from Amiga J. Uh, I'm gonna do a little raffle. Then we're gonna what are we gonna do after that? Oh yeah, we're gonna listen to Comatron's new song while I'm doing the raffle. Then we're gonna play some games. And then we're gonna do another raffle at the end of the stream. <laughs> so, there's a lot of raffling happening today. Paul Kitching 3 d What is up, Paul? It is great to have you here, Paul. It's a pleasure. Working on the new Night Goo, Bob Seeger. You know it, Tony. Sanzian's loving his new Monster Joysticks PC Engine Joysticks. Sweet. Sweet. Well, we've got so much to do today. Let's start. Let's start with the Amiga news. Yo, Akmafin, the birthday boy, is hosting my stream with one viewer. I wish I knew it was your birthday a little bit, a little bit more in advance. You know, Akmafin. But I, I'm wishing you a very, very happy. Well, you know, let me see. I can probably do something for you really quick for your birthday for Akmafin. Let me, um, let me see what I can do here for Akmafin. Akmafin, I'm gonna do this on the fly. Okay. This is gonna be a little birthday wish for you on the fly. I'm, I'm moving as fast as I can here. Let's go, let's go here. We're gonna go here, hold on. Let's see if this works, I can finish. Let's see how fast I can pull this up. Comatron with the host. Thank you, Coma. You rock, Coma. I can't wait to hear a song. We're gonna he hear Comatron's new song that has never been heard before. We're gonna listen to this with virgin ears. It's gonna be amazing. Let's see if I can find this. Where is it? But boom, boom. I'm trying to find it. Oh, maybe I don't. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it one more time. One more time. It's my man Akinfin's birthday, so I want to do like something. You know what I mean? Let's see if I go here. My channel. Let's go to my videos. Uh, this was unplanned, but being that it's Comatron's birthday. Let's see if I can find it. Where is it? Yes, I found it. Okay, so... So this, this... Comatron, I know this is for Amiga 30th birthday, but I'll tell you what. This is this is for your birthday today. Let me pause the music. Comatrons. I mean, uh, Akmafin, this is for you, buddy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Akmafin. Boot up that 1,000, baby. Boot up, this is for you. This is for you, Akmafin. Happy birthday, Akmafin. My Happy man. Birthday, my Akmafin. <laughs> Woo! 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 <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> thanks, Anthony. Thanks, thanks for the help there, Anthony. Appreciate that, bud. That was for you, Akmafin. I hope you're having a great birthday. Did I get raided again? The the Purple Haze Maker raiding. Purple Haze, thank you so much for the raid, dude. I appreciate that. So it was awesome. So I remember I told you I was shooting in Minnesota this week. 
and I went to the arcade. I was shooting something totally unrelated to Amiga. So we went into these people's house. I can't reveal too much about the project yet. And I was shooting with this guy's um, wife and daughter. And it turns out that the dude's house I was in is a Purple Haze Maker fan. He's a Purple Haze Maker fan. I was like, wow, that, that's awesome. The, the Purple Haze stretches all the way from the UK to Minnesota. That was really, really cool. <laughs> that was, I, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. It was awesome. Man, maybe we look like a couple of nuts because we are. We are a couple of nuts. Pixels at Dawn Gaming. What is up, Pixels? A very happy birthday to the one and only Acmafin. Exactly, Brother Bill. Of course we look like a couple of nuts. We are a couple of nuts. All right, let's get the Amiga News started here. Uh, let's see. All right. Amiga News Archive. We got. There's so much news that happened since the last stream. Let's head over to Indie Retro News. Fix it, Felix Jr. on the Commodore Amiga. Are you kidding me? This is crazy stuff. I'm sure many of you have now seen Disney's animation Wreck It Ralph, a cartoon which follows the journey of a villain from an old 1980s arcade game that at the time in reality never actually existed. Well, you may or may not know it. That not only did it actually spawn a real online and mobile based game called Fix It Felix Jr., which played just like a Donkey Kong clone from 1982, but it also spawned a homebrew Sega Gen Genesis emulator version that has been ported by enthusiast programmer Future Driver for the Genesis Mega Drive console. So, why are we mentioning this fabulous game as if it was released in 1982? Well, as of this week, we were contacted by Per Ola Erickson that a Fix It Felix, Felix Jr. based game called Repairtronics has arrived on the Commodore Amiga, and thanks to Amigatronics using the red pill tool from Carlos Paris Zenner and Jordi Palome. So yes, if you have an Amiga with 2 megs of chip and 030 CPU, you'll be able to enjoy this great game with all the Wreck-It Ralph gonna Wreck-It antics intact. In I didn't, oh my god, I didn't, I didn't even know you could like download this. I didn't download it for the stream, let's check it out. I didn't even download it, let's, well, let's, let's check it out. Brother Bill, thank you for the host. Sir Chili. Evening to you. Daniel Mon, you hear Bruno, nice. Torque Torque Soda, thank you. That's never gonna happen, unfortunately, because I can't I can't stream enough. Yeah, Rudy Soup. I was at Rudy Soup's house. It's crazy. He was a he was a purple haze maker fan. Vicky Pixel Vixen, what is up, Vicky? We're checking out this Wreck It Ralph inspired game on the Amiga. I'm not playing it though, I'm just playing a video. I'm playing a video that was linked to from Indie Retro News. I didn't even realize, I didn't even realize there was an ADF available, otherwise I totally would play it. Fix it, Felix. I'm just gonna scroll ahead a little bit here. Let's check it out. Whoa. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna have to download this and play it. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's pretty rad. <laughs> What's up, Vicky Pixel Vixen? It is great to have you here. Vicky, I haven't checked out your video yet, but Vicky just did a video all about pixel art backgrounds, and I, I can't wait to check it out. Wreck it haze, right? <laughs> hey, hey, Kat, no, I'm not sure. I don't know if the Vampire Force standalone supports save states and input remapping. It. I can. Can you message me, Katana, and I can get the answer for you, though? What's up, Sir Chili? It looks like a cool game. I dig. I dig. Hazemaker played this on an arcade at Retro Revival a couple of years back. Oh, nice. Nice purple haze. I, I wasn't prepared. I, I didn't realize that um, they actually had an ADF for this. Maybe I would have played it. It looks sweet. It looks sweet. I'm going to put the link into the chat if you want to go download the game Fix It Felix Jr. Copy that right there. Copy that right there. It does look like a fun little game. Uh, ten minute. Fix it, Felix. Boom. Fix it, Felix. There we go. Awesome. Come on, music. Yo. Why is my music not playing? There we go. There we go. All right. Back to the news. 
Sir Chili's got a birthday tomorrow, turn, turning 37. Sir Chili, happy birthday to you. And Tony Rocks has got a birthday in three days. That is awesome. Pixels at Dawn Gaming bought their plane tickets to Amiga Ireland 2020 yesterday. January is now in Amiga Zone. Pixels at Dawn, it's not out of the question that I can make it to, to that. Not out of the question. Amiga Live, that game reminds me of Beauty and the Beast on uh, on Intellivision. Totally, dude. Totally. The real Tony Rocks is turning 47. Tony Rocks, I would have guessed, I would have guessed like a like a like a 27 for you, my man. You're looking good. I hope when I'm 20 when I'm 47, I hope I look as good as the real Tony Rocks. More indie retro news. Now this one I did download. Rero, Amiga Hero remake gets an early demo tease. Sometime, we, sometime back, we mentioned the classic game of Hero, which was first released way back in the 1980s for the Atari 800, 2600, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, Commodore 128, and Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Was not only being at some point overhauled for the Commodore 64, but was also coming to modern systems as an inspired game called Bobby Bombastic. Well, if you're still waiting for those games or have an Amiga, you'll be pleased to learn Alpha One has released an early teaser demo for its upcoming hero-inspired remake called Rero. When the game was first released, the developer noted that all the graphics were ripped and he was looking for a graphic artist. Fast forward boop, to today, however, not only can you see how far advanced the game has come with new and improved original graphics and sound, but the game also has music you can download the demo below. Developer notes, the game runs on a standard Amiga 500 with 512k of RAM, but utilizes more RAM for less track loading. Please, for those who give it a test, write your impression and suggestion what can be improved. At the moment, I am stuck with level designing and waiting for new graphics. So, check it out. I, uh, I downloaded Rero, and I was going to play it. Rero is going to be one of the first games we play, but I'm going to just dump this into the chat for now. Download Rero. There's the link for you. Hero is awesome. I love. I used to play Hero a lot on the both. I think the 800 and the 64. Paul Kitchen 3D is going to Amiga Ireland. Sweet. Tony Rocks. I don't think you feel old. You, you don't look old. Let's put it that way, my man. Happy birthday again, Sir Chill. Maybe by the time the stream's over, it will be your birthday. You know what I mean? I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Amiga Island, Amigas and Good Beer, great combo. Agreed, Brother Bill. Twisted will have three weekends of Amiga-related gigs during January. Dude, that's that's awesome, Twisted. That is awesome. I know we got MAGFest here, too. You know, I usually go to MAGFest the first weekend in January. Wow. Yeah, Hero was a great game on the 2600 10-minute. Apart from swag, Amiga Ireland will be my last Amiga event before before going to Japan. Yeah, it's Vicky. Oh, wow. Vicky, if you are... If you are departing, you know, after Amiga Ireland, that, that gives me even more incentive to come and meet meet all these awesome people in person. You loved Hero on the 2600, Space Ace? Space Cadet Farley, sorry. When I see Space, I think Space Ace. <laughs> Sandy, that's a good question. I don't know the dates of, uh, of Amiga Ireland. Did Scooby-Doo write this game? Hilarious. Rero. <laughs> Rero! <laughs> good one, Funny Rocks. Age coming of Amiga memory stay forever. True, true. You want to get to Ireland too? Tony Rocks, December sixth is the is the the party in New Jersey for for all the Vintage Computer Federation. December sixth. I'm gonna try and go. January's your birthday month. All that retro will be fantastic. Twisted. That's awesome. Katna, when I play platform games, I like to remap, jump to a button instead of a joystick up axis. Dude, I I do too. And what I do is. Both, uh, I got on the monster on the monster mini joystick I have here. I can flip the switch and it maps the second button. If the game doesn't use the second button, you can it maps it as up, and it makes a huge difference. I, I agree totally. The second button for for up for jump is is the way to go. Amiga Ireland is the 17th and 18th of January. Thank you, Pixels at Dawn. Appreciate that. All right, what's next? Next, I gotta keep it moving here. I like it when there's a lot to do because I gotta keep things moving. Oh, speaking, speaking of MonsterJoysticks.com, I saw this get tweeted out. There's a nine-pin joystick to USB adapter 
being dispatched in one to two weeks, it is $9.99. Pounds. Uh, basically, it converts your favorite 9 pin classic joystick to work with your modern computers over USB. I've got I've got one of these adapters, not, not this one from, from Monster, I've got an older one, and it works great. Like whenever I, I do WinUAE or FSUAE, do my Amiga emulation, I still like to use my Greek stick and I still like to use my, my Monster joystick because I using like an Xbox or a PlayStation controller with WinUAE, it just stinks. <laughs> it's no bueno. You gotta use the classic stuff. You know, my, my Wyco, the bat, you know, I want some bat up in there when I'm doing my emulation. So if you don't already have a 9-pin to USB adapter, I highly suggest you get this one from, from MonsterJoysticks.com. They're super, super good people and uh, big supporters of my stream. I'm going to drop the link into the chat. Get, get your Monster Joysticks. Get your, I can tag them, get your Monster Joystick 9-pin to USB ADAPTER here. Boom. Boom. Awesome stuff, Monster Joystick. Oh, um... Yeah, no problem, Katna. Let me see what's up. Yo, Amix312! Great to see you, Amix. It's a pleasure to have you here. Katna, check this out. Now, there's different variations on it, but um, I have here a Rish Mark II. This was a gift to me from DJ Mario of, uh, of Ami Party fame. And this allows you to put a USB into 9-pin. So right now, I'm using this uh, this USB laser mouse on my 1200, but it also works with joysticks. It's pretty sweet. They got a Rish 2, they got a Tom 2, all these different adapters made in Poland. They got one that, that you can plug in, I think I think it's both a USB and a 9-pin simultaneously. I think the Tom 2 does that. But um, if you want, hit me up uh, if you're in my Discord. Go into my Discord and hit me up with a private message. I can send you all the links. Or just do it. We'll just do it publicly and I can send you all the links so everyone can, can find links to the Toms, to the Rishes, all the good stuff from Poland. Where am I going? Desktop full screen. That, that's what I was looking for. So this is this is a super cool device. I'm going to get one anyway. Just It's always good to have a backup. Maybe I'll give it out as a, as a gift, another raffle. <laughs> Miss DK, you and two friends have ordered three of these adapters already. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Amiga Live, it is a great price. It is. Yeah, what's up, Amiga Live? Great to see you. It's a very cool adapter. Monster Joystick says, Shh, I, I have pre orders coming out my ears already. Oh, Monster Joystick's nervous now. Monster nervous. Monster is a good problem to have. You make good stuff. That's the problem. That You make good stuff. Monster is assembling the first batch at the moment. Nice. Man, maybe uses that Amiga Power Stick on the PC. Man, oh yeah, the Amiga Power Stick is, is is awesome. I love the Power Stick. Man, maybe gifted me a Power Stick. I, I love it. You need your Amiga emulator with the old Tac 2 joystick. Yes, you can do that. Katna, yeah, I'll give you links to the Rish Mark II if you want. Now you can play PC games with the Quick Shot 2 Turbo at Exo and Akmafin. <laughs> oh man. Pixels at Dawn Gaming's Monster Joysticks on, on its way. On its way to them. Akmafin, the Rich Mark II is nice. I, I like it. It's pronounced Rice? The Rice Mark II? I'll, I'll point to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask my wife. She born and raised in Poland. The Rice? I thought it was Rich, like Richio, like Richard in Polish. You'll take a tank mouse too, it's nice. The Rish is great, it can bind the second joystick button to up. Oh, I didn't know that, Arcanist. I didn't even know that. That's cool. That is very, very cool. Miss DK, how do I persuade Monster Joysticks to send me a Monster Joystick to Denmark so I can review it on my stream? Just ask him, Miss DK. Just ask. It's pronounced rice adapter. Got it. Well, thank you, Pints and Amiga. You have, you've got four of them. Oh, there you go. Pints and Amiga knows what's up. Pints and Amiga loving it. Nice try to wave. You got an Amiga 600 Vampire? Dude, awesome. 
The Purple Haze Maker is saying Antonio Savona just released another Atari 2600 port, Frostbite, for the Commodore 64. It's not even in the retro news yet. It's free on CSDB now. Nice, Purple Haze. Antonio's amazing. I know he worked with double sided games recently. Frostbite. It is the season for Frostbite, right? Right, Purple Haze? Oh, the finished postal? Oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer, Akmafin. Sorry. Sunday Chocolate and Amiga Bill. Nice, Amix312. I, Purple Haze, I, you know, it's a bummer. Like, when I fired up my streaming stuff, I saw that you were streaming, and I was like, oh, crap. I I missed the Purple Haze Maker stream. I feel bad. I'll, I will definitely check out the VOD, though. That sounds super cool, Purple Haze. I'll put in the good word for you, Misty K, for sure. Draw Studio on the Mega 1200? Nice, Vicky. Love it. Oh, you've got two Tom Pluses? Oh, the Tom the Tom looks really, really sweet as well, Pines and Amiga. Really, really cool. Alright, well, I gotta keep this moving. We got so much to do today. Gotta keep this moving. Speaking, speaking of Poland, let's... Let's check out the latest from Rastport. Now, Rastport was featured in our latest Guru Meditation video. Rastport is my man Crashin from Poland. He uh, he made that rad L bracket for the uh, for the Amiga 1200, and now he's working on a keyboard. Crashin Crashin's crazy man. Check it out. He's working on a new mechanical keyboard called the KA59. It looks super super sweet. This is for an Amiga 1200 computer. I think the best bet. The best bet here, if you go to the Polish Amiga portal, which is, is, is kind of like their English Amiga board. Let's see, can I translate it? Translate this page. You can get uh, more, more information about it here. Boom, translate to English. Um, let's see, I think there's a picture. Here's a picture of a prototype of it. Boom. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't enlarge. But you get the idea. It's super cool. It's a nice alternative to, I know Amiga1200.net, A1200.net is going to be making some keyboards in the future. Uh, I know, in theory, um, there's supposed to be a new keyboard coming from Amiga on the Lake, and now, now Crashin is working on this one, so we've got options. We, we, there is, uh, we're being smothered in keyboard riches over here on Amiga. I can't wait for these to start coming out. Purple Haze. That's I can't wait to check out the game, dude. I, I appreciate the heads up very much. If you want to throw the link down into the chat where you can download it, that'd be rad. Yeah, the the uh, katana they they came out with the two button joystick for the CD32. You know what I mean? That would be cool. A Competition Pro Zipstick form factor in the future. That would be a good idea, Arnoush. Yo, Motor Breath, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very much, Motor Breath. Welcome to the stream. We're banging through some Amiga news right now. Then we're going to do a little raffle. Um, Ms. DK is asking a question I can answer. He's asking if the buttons, if the buttons can be reversed. So, check it out. This 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 joystick is actually backwards because I prefer I prefer the joystick on the right side. But normally if you look, you can see like the monster joystick logo is is mirrored because I flipped it. Normally it comes with the joystick on the left side and the buttons on the right, but I prefer joystick on the right, buttons on the left. And then yeah, I mean, when you plug in if you now if you want these buttons to literally be reversed, it's very simple. You can just switch the wires there. That that's a piece of cake. So, yeah, no problemo. You can have joystick right side, joystick left side. Buttons left side, buttons right side, and you can you can switch the buttons if you want. It shouldn't be a problem. You just put you know, or you can just like put one in the other hole. Highly customizable. I'm not using my Greek stick, unfortunately. My Greek stick is is sick. My Greek stick is sick. But the I love my monster too. It's great. It's great to have all these choices, you know. Stuart Johnson was up. It's cool, right? Um, okay, yes. Arnoush, great question. This keyboard will not will not use the same keycaps as the original Amiga keyboards slash A1200.net. 
the Kipper, t the Kipper Mayhem, maybe the Kipper 2K. That's what I was trying to think of. But Mayhem, the, the only problem with the Kipper, there's no problem with the Kipper 2K. It's just that it was it was due out Christmas of last year, Christmas 2018. It was supposed to be out by then, and it's still it's still not out. I pre-ordered it like last September or whenever. So hopefully they'll come out soon. But you know, I know these things take time. I understand. Haze Maker, thank you so much for the link to Frostbite on the Commodore 64, dude. Appreciate that very much, Purple Haze. Thank you. Oh, Pred Seda's here? I didn't see Pred Seda. What's up, Pred Seda? Great to have you. You use left hand for the joystick, Miss UK? Yeah, you can do either one. It's fine. Yeah, normal normal is stick on the left, buttons on the right, but Amiga Bill's not normal. <laughs> but it's so cool that you can just, like, flip it around, you know what I mean? Akmafin, the birthday boy, likes right side. I'm a right side kind of guy. I'm a right side kind of guy. They put the stick on the left side in the arcade because most people are right-handed and they want to take your quarters as much as possible. So they put the stick on the left side to try and get more quarters in those machines. Put the stick in your right hand, man. Your mind will be blown. Unless you're a lefty, of course. Snow Dog, Joystick Command, thank you. The Wacom's are awesome. I, I, um... Oh, I'm not sure how it works with the, with the, with the, uh, drawing tablet. Not sure. Uh, Sanzian, I'm still using, I'm still using the, uh, the stock, the stock power supply with the 1200. But check it out. They also have, uh, I'm gonna order one of these. Do I have it here? Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of these because I'm building a new 1200 and I'm gonna get this one from Sordan. They look really good. I think they're 30 watts, which is pretty much all you need up to like an 060. You're you're good to go. So I'm probably gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one from Sordan, but I'm using I'm using the stock original one. Twisted, yeah, the Wacom tablets. I'm not sure. My friend Pierre is an awesome artist. He does a lot of deep paint art. I know he uses a tablet with his Amiga. I'm not sure exactly his setup, but I'll ask him. It's good if you can use both hands. Do double stick. Double stick's the way to go. <laughs> Mayhem says, like most things Amiga, the Kipper 2K keyboard is delayed. If it comes out when it's supposed to, then it's no good when it comes to Amiga. <laughs> exactly, Mayhem. Yo, Shagan89, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that very, very much. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm Bill, streaming Amiga stuff today. Streaming Amiga stuff every stream. Today I'm using my real 1200. We got a lot of games to play. We're doing some Amiga news right now. Hazemaker, yeah, we did We did get uh, used to the arcade layout. You're right. Understood. It's all muscle memory, right? And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little unboxing and a giveaway in a couple of minutes right here. Mr. Cola. Raiding with a party of eight. Mr. Cola, thank you for the raid, Mr. Cola. I hope your stream was awesome. It's great to have you here. You rock, Cola. You rock, dude. Sanzian, I'll drop this. I'll drop this link into the, into the chat for you. Sword in... This, uh, this was an unplanned Amiga News article here. Sword in power supply. There you go. Speaking of Amiga, why, why, why is it not playing? I'm not guru in here, am I? Let's put on this one. There just there's there's just a lot of emptiness at the end of that mod file. Harry Longbone, yes, we are we are yabbing, doing a lot of Amiga news. There's so much Amiga news. What's up next? I keep it I'm keeping it moving today though. We're banging through this pretty quick. Check this out. This is awesome. So poetic android. She's in my Discord channel, and she frequents these streams uh, very frequently. And ch she's making she's making this incredible thing. <laughs> it's called Homegirl Pro, and it's a fantasy console inspired by the Commodore Amiga. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of it because I haven't actually tried this yet. But I'm going to try it off stream, and I'm probably just I'm probably going to do a stream about it. Well, not a whole stream about it, or maybe I will. I don't know. I'm going to demonstrate it on a, on a stream soon. But apparently, she made a new game engine for it. So it's pretty, it's pretty rad. <laughs> Homegirl Pro now has a game engine, which is incredible. Let me show you. That's that's her news. She's got a new uh, a new game engine for for Homegirl Pro. Let me go to the homepage for Homegirl Pro. Where where is it? Boom. Uh, 
Homegirl Pro. Boom. Let's go. Boom. Homegirl Pro is a fantasy console like a Pico 8 or a Tick 80 inspired by the Commodore Amiga. It has graphic resolution similar to the OCS Amigas, multitasking, multiple screens and windows, etc. It has 4 channel, 8 bit stereo sound, and the ability to mount web servers as drives. That's pretty awesome. The software for it is based on Lua, which is a pretty simple and fast scripting language. That is rad. That is super rad. <laughs> I, I mean, what a cool project. What a cool project. Poetic Android. That that is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. It's, it's two bucks. It's two bucks. I'm gonna. I'm gonna download it and uh, and and give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try during the week, and then we'll probably probably check it out on stream next week. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw this into into the chat. If you want to try out this uh, this homebrew operating system, Homegirl Pro, which looks super sweet, <laughs> I'll drop the link in the chat, and you can you can check it out during the week too. Homegirl Pro. I love it. I love uh, passion projects. You know, it looks really really cool. It looks awesome. I love her uh, her androids there in the, in the background of the window too. Oh, Poetic Android, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Poetic. Poetic Android, um... I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. You're, you're a Poetic Android. That's what you are. <laughs> sorry about that, dude. <laughs> hey, what's up, Daniel? Great to see you. Mr. Cole, today's Acme Finn's birthday. This song is named Finland City. Nice. Stuart Johnson is 610. Thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate that, Stuart. That, that is just awesome. You're welcome, Poetic. Harry Longbone is requesting... Kick it. I would I would love to. I would love to. Harry, I wish there was a way I could... I, I, knew how, I wish I knew how to make markers in stream. Because, Harry, I love, I love viewer requests. I love them. Yo, Retro Rents AL, thank you so much for the follow. That is much appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Today we are doing a little bit of Amiga news. Just finishing up some Amiga news. I'm gonna do like a little bit of an unboxing, and I'm gonna do a little bit, a little small raffle. Ms. DK just got an SMS with the order confirmation of those three adapters from Monster Joystick that your friends ordered for us. Awesome, Ms. DK. You're 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 gonna enjoy that. TV Paint got Wacom support for a long time. Oh, right. I think maybe he uses TV Paint. I'm not sure what he uses, Amix. I know he uses a Wacom tablet for the Amiga. I just don't know his whole workflow. What's up, Rule of Thirds? Poetic Android is saying that Homegirl operating system is still a work in progress. It's a passion project, Homegirl Pro. It's a, I, I appreciate passion projects very, very much. Poetic Android. I can't wait. To, I can't wait to try out Homegirl. I know lots of great Commodore streamers, right? Rule of thirds. Katna says, "I hope one day there'll be a crowdfunding to make new CRT monitors." Unfortunately, some dubious dudes purchased the best manufacturing tools and it's long lost. Katna, I am with you on that. I, I CRTs are my favorite. I just repaired my 1084S and it cost it cost like 180 bucks because it needed a new yoke. I mean, I didn't repair it; someone repaired it for me. <laughs> but I, I'm all about the CRT. The CRT is my is my favorite, you know. I haven't I haven't played Thunder Rabbit. Try to wave. I haven't. Rule of thirds. I, I you got. I am hoarding CRTs. I am. This will probably always be a work in progress. Poetic. Understood. Understood. Poetic. But that's 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 the fun of it, right? That's the fun of it. Okay, so check this out. This isn't Amiga news, but I saw this pop up on Indie Retro and on Twitter. And this is a concept. This is a concept only, okay? This is a concept. The 3D models of a portable Commodore 64. I know Purple, Purple Haze. Control yourself right now, buddy. Control yourself, Purple Haze. <laughs> this is the HS, HX64 
handheld Commodore 64. These are 3D renders of a concept. This is a concept only. But I thought this was just super cool. I want to show you guys. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, I would. Well, it's got like a portable, a little portable like mini CRT as well. Maybe like a seven inch. That thing is crazy. A five inch. It's probably like a five inch. How how beautiful is that? And it even uses um, those little mini cassette tapes. Remember, like you used to have on your answering machine. I used to use these little mini cassette tapes to like load in some games. It's got a cassette port. Can you imagine if this thing was real? Could you imagine? I mean, look how cool that is. You can plug in. Your 1541, crazy, crazy. Xbarry, thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks for the the link, Xbarry. But I mean, how how cool is this? Crazy, right? Hazemaker says he should have put two buttons, one so he could map it to the up. True, true that, true that, Hazemaker. I'm with you. Sakatum says uh, there was interesting tech under development a decade or more back. It was called FED. It was supposed to be the best of CRT and LCD in one. Every pixel is basically a tiny CRT. Wow. Sadly, money got tight and they went with LCD instead. Interesting. The keyboard looks like an Atari 400, right, ma'am? Totally. Amiga SREP, that, that project is my friend. Nice. Dude, that project is so cool. I mean,. What a well thought out piece of gear. I mean, it would be so cool if it was real. But even just as a concept, it's it's freaking awesome. <laughs> so tell your friend he rocks or she rocks. His name is Kem Tenzakan. Well, tell tell Kem that the project is amazing. It's amazing. Stuart Johnson will take two. Yeah, awesome. Why not use an MP3 player for the games? Right. Oh, yeah. Right on. Sansi says, check out the C64P on the Future was 8-bit website. Oh, the Commodore 64 portable? Sansi, and throw the link in the chat. Yo, Invent71, there's no testing happening. This is for real. This is for real. Isn't that rad? You're not fond of the tape idea? It just needs an SD solution. Nobody wants tape. Oh, dude. The tape, it's, the tape is so retro, though. Like, think of all the times and all the people used to load games with the with the tape on the Commodore 64. <laughs> I mean, d don't get me wrong. I'm not a huge fan of the tape, but if you want a really cool... It, tapes look cool. They're fun. But yeah, an SD card solution in addition to tape would be great. I'm with you on that. He's a substance artist. He's, he's an amazing artist. I mean, is, that is an absolutely brilliant design. Brilliant. Oh, you, you like the Platoon and Cobra music? Nice. Nicer chili. Your your CRT uh, literally blew up. Oh, man. You were running it 24-7. That's scary. Tanya Duels. What's up, Tanya Deuce? Great to have you. Invent. I'm, I'm glad you're here. You're a huge fan. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your rate, your, your name right. Tanya Dulce. Tanya Dulce. Thank you for being here, Tanya. I appreciate it very, very much. I don't, I don't have a, a, a spectrum. I don't. Nope. Just uh, don't have a spectrum. Yo, Microfine, what is up? Hey, what's up, Pregnant Sausage? Great to see you. Yeah, 10 minutes. I wasn't a fan of the tapes back then either. And I, I had an Atari 800 first, and the tape loading on the Atari 800 was the slowest of all the 8-bits as far as I know. Tanya, thank you. Thank you so much for the follow, Tanya. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. It's a pleasure to have you here. I hope you enjoy your time here today. The batteries would die out by the time the game is loaded by tape. That's that's a good point, Amiga Live. That is a good point. <laughs> Retro Fox, you think it would get a little heavy while playing the games? It, it probably would. It, I, you're probably right, especially if that's like a little CRT. I, I agree. It's just I just think it's a re really really cool concept. It's awesome. Oh, Rom, what's up? Great to see you. Tani a dulce. Tani a dulce. Tani a Tani a dulce. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you know me, then you know I, I can't pronounce things very well. <laughs> Tani a dulce. Let's check this out. 
This is fresh in from Sanzian at the future with 8bit.com, a Commodore 64P work in progress. There's a real portable, a usable Commodore 64 portable. That is sweet. That is sweet, Tim. I love it. You got, there's your SD card, 10 minute Amiga Retrocast. Nine pins, nine pin joystick ports. Sweet. And this is a real thing, right, Tim? This, this is not a concept. The other one is just a concept. This is, uh, this is real. This, this is real. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome, Tim. You guys all should have a, head over to thefuturewas8bit.com and just buy stuff from them because they're good dudes and they, uh, they make top quality stuff. We had the Rodman high score competition at the Westchester Amiga User Group Summer Party. I'm actually working on that video right now. I love my SD2 IEC. The future was 8-bit. One of my favorite online retailers and Tim, one of the best dudes in the universe. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad. Tanya, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll say Tanya. That, that'll, be, that'll be the easiest for me. <laughs> DJ Billy Nest. Greetings to Greece and the Vintage Computer Society. It's really cool, right, Shangan? You want to, you want an Amiga too? Oh, Tanya, I'm with, the Amiga's great. For now, you know, emulation is good. Em emulation is real good. Why don't they make cool computers like they used to? I'm with you, Tanya. I'm with you. Everything is so generic now. I know. I know. It's all about, it's all about making money. All right, last up in the Amiga news section before. <laughs> Oh my god. Almost an hour. Almost an hour streaming rate. We still haven't played a game. I apologize. <laughs> this is just a silly little thing, right? So I started doing YouTube stories. My buddy Anthony and I, my man Mayhem Maybe, who's in chat, we've got a, a YouTube channel called uh, The Guru Meditation. I can actually do this, like, for real. Overhead cam, where is it? And I, they have this thing called... Let me make sure everything's kosher here. Okay, yeah, we're good. My channel. Uh, they got a thing now called YouTube Stories. It's kind of like uh, Facebook Stories and Instagram. That's the word I'm looking for. Instagram Stories. I use those every now and then. If you go over to, uh, if you, it's only available on mobile, which is kind of weak. But if you have a mobile device and you watch YouTube on mobile, you can go up to uh, the different tabs up here. So here's like the community tab, you know, we post stuff over there, like what's going on. Oh, check it out, check out that, check out that, that ham six image. Oh yeah. If you go to stories, if you go to stories, you can, uh, you can watch me just getting drunk at bars, <laughs> getting drunk at arcades, excuse me. <laughs> it's just silly stuff, you know, it's a, it's a good way for us to engage with our fans when we are uh, not able to make full blown videos, you know, I know, I know Mayhem has got a very exciting trip coming up. Maybe there's the beer. <laughs> Maybe he'll post some stuff from his uh, from his work trip. There's me drinking beer, saluting saluting all all the viewers. It's it's rad, man. I was at up down. I mean, oh yeah, Tron. I got my Flynn's arcade shirt on. Tron pinball was great. Freaking Maiden Maiden pinball. It was awesome. Love me some Maiden pinball. The Tron pinball was great. I, the up down in Minneapolis is is literally like one of my my favorite places in the world. I love it. So there you go. If you're if you're really bored <laughs> and you're on you're on YouTube on your mobile device, head over to the Guru and you can you can watch Anthony and I make make fools of ourselves like usual. <laughs> All right, I think it's time. I think it's time for a little more show and tell. Tanya loves emulators, but there's nothing better than the original. I agree. There's nothing better. There is nothing better, but but emulators are very convenient and it's awesome to have an emulator until you get your real Amiga. You know. Check out the new Commodore 64 games on the site, Tim. Yo, Kala, thank you for the raid. My, Thank you, Kala. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had an awesome stream. It is a, a pleasure to have you and all your viewers here. Thank you. Thank you. The Pen Ultimate is your next purchase for Vic 20. Sweet. Uh, Tim, what, what do you want me to look at here, Tim? The new Commodore 64 games. Tim, we're going to do... We'll do a whole thing on the 64 games. Uh, projects... Apparently the future is 8-bit. It's got some rad new Commodore 64 games. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where to find them. 
Limited edition recycled Commodore 64's penultimate cartridge. That's what Tony Rocks is going to get. We're going to do, we'll do, um, I'll tell you what, we'll do, maybe I'll have Hazemaker help me. Maybe we'll do a Commodore 64 screen, stream and I'll have the Purple Haze help me and we'll check out the new games from the future as 8-bit. That'd, that'd be rad. That'd be rad. All right, so check it out. Sorry if I missed, sorry if I missed, let's see, what I miss? Tape is what made me the man I am today. Hilarious pixels. <laughs> What's up, Kala? Quahouse, you got the joystick working for your game. The build will arrive to you this week. Awesome, awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. Right on, Invent. Which raid? I, 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 now I saw Kala's raid. I saw Kala's raid. Oh, uh, the Purple Haze Makers got all their cards on order. He'll let me know when they arrive. Oh, I can't wait to check those out, Haze. That, that would be awesome. Tanya, thank you for the host. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Thank you for following today. Thanks for hanging out. So check it out. Speaking, speaking of new stuff. Oh, gosh. I just dropped some new stuff. I'm not, I haven't even had a beer yet. So I got, I got a haul. Let's go overhead cam here. I got a haul from the one and only Amiga J, my brother from another. Amiga J has been a key member of the Amiga community for many, many years now. I've been following his stuff. He does these awesome CD32 compilations. He is a huge proponent of the of the CD32. He sent me some amazing, amazing things. He's, he sent me this rad CD32 fanzine. This is uh, issue number one for the CD32's 25th anniversary. He sent me issue number two with some reshooter on the cover. Some Power Glove Reloaded. Maybe we'll play for some Power Glove. Uh, this magazine is amazing. We'll take a look at it in a second. And he also sent me the, the brand new CDTV Disc Reference Guide. It's basically got every disc that ever came out for the CDTV in it. This stuff is awesome. It, he also sent me some other nice bonuses. I got um, I got a CD32 magnet from Amiga J. Excuse me, two CD32 magnets from Amiga J. I'm not gonna get those too close to my hard drives. And he sent me this rad uh, CD32 scene sticker. So a huge thanks to Amiga J for these amazing, amazing books. Now what I'm gonna do, I did say there was gonna be a giveaway today. I've got a PDF version of each of these, of the CD32 fanzines available. I bought them from Amiga J and I want to do a little raffle to uh, to give them to, to, to one of you. But the, the, the PDF is much easier than sending a physical copy. And this thing is, the issue number one comes with, um, it comes with a CD ISO and a PDF file. Issue number two doesn't have a CD uh, ISO file yet. It's just uh, just the PDF only. But I figured, I was like, you know what? Let me let me just help Jay out a little bit and buy a couple things from him. And I figured I'd go PDF because sometimes it's a pain to go to the post office and send these things to the other side of the world. You know what I mean? But these are these are super super cool. Time for kombucha. Nice invent. <laughs> um, let me show you something over here. Um, if I go over here, boom. Here here's the here's the website. Here's Amiga J's website with the CD32 fanzines. You can order the fanzine here. You can get the CDTV reference guide here as well. It's all like super reasonably priced stuff. So I just picked up a couple of PDF files that I'll, I'll raffle off to you guys like like right now. <laughs> but Amiga J is a legend. I, I've played the Amiga J CD32 compilations on the streams before and they're awesome. And we also played them at Westchester Amiga user group parties. Jay, Jay is a, a top a top quality dude and his compilations are amazing. I'm gonna throw the link in the chat right now. We'll do a little raffle. And if you don't if you don't win the raffle, no worries. I highly encourage you to go buy some stuff from Jay. Because it's uh, it's awesome stuff. And the articles in these in these little magazines are freaking cool. His interview with Richard from on Reshooter is awesome. We'll flip through it in a second. I'm gonna drop the link in the chat. Copy, Amiga J fanzine site.
I wonder if we're, I wonder if we're even gonna play any games today. <laughs> Thirty-two bit says I have all the issues and they are great. They're, they are really good. Invent, how do we won the the CDTV one? I'm only I don't. There's no PDF of the of the uh, of the CDTV one that I know of. Uh, Invent. So I'm just gonna do these two because they have they got PDFs. Hold on, I gotta do this. I'm just gonna do the CD32 scene magazine because they um they they are the only ones that have PDFs. <laughs> Sir Chili, they're awesome. Oh, you've got a broken Vic, uh, Mr. Lokens. Bummer, dude. I don't I don't know how to um I have no idea about repairing a Vic, but it's always worth trying to fix it. This stuff is getting rarer and rarer by the day, you know? Mr. Lulkins, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Lulkins. It's a pleasure to have you here. Retro Ralph, thank you for the subscription, Retro Ralph. I appreciate you very, very much. Wow, this is, is awesome today. I'm, I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, I So, um... Mr. Lokens, if you want, if you want to join my Discord, do exclamation mark Discord, and then I can like point you in the right direction to people who might be able to help you with that Vic 20. If you want to do that, do exclamation mark uh, Discord. Red Hot God, thank you for the follow. It is a pleasure. So let's try, let's try one of these giveaways. I'll tell you what, because I haven't done a giveaway. Do you? Have, well, should I flip through it first? First, I'm gonna flip through the CDTV book. DJ Billy Ness with the sub, my gosh. DJ Billy Ness, you're, thank you for all the support, my man. You are incredible. DJ Billy Ness of the Vintage Computer Society of Athens with the sub. Wow, DJ Billy Ness. Appreciate that. Thank you for all the subs, everyone. Oh, I see what's going on. <laughs> Qua House gifted the sub. To DJ Billing at Qua House, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. Thank you, Qua House. That's super, super kind of you, Qua House. What we gonna do right here is go I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play me games very soon. <laughs> no, Mr. Lokens, you don't have to use Facebook. Just do exclamation mark Discord. Discord is like IRC. It's like an IRC app. Or you can you can also whisper me here on on Twitter if you want. The Retro Bench. Just gifted five subscriptions to the Amiga Bill community. My, my, my. Retrobench. If you do exclamation mark shop in the chat, <laughs> you will you will see links to some amazing Amiga shops. And the Retrobench is one of the most amazing Amiga shops. They were featured in my last video I did with Mayhem, maybe on the Guru Meditation. I bought I bought a freaking recapped Amiga 1200 from them, as well as all these other goodies. SD. Uh, compact flash to IED adapters, PCM to IED compact flash adapters. Dude, that is crazy. Thank you, Retrobench. Thank you for all your support. You're amazing. Let me go. Let me just go to. Let me go to Retrobench right now. Let me get just while I'm here. While I'm here. Boom. Retrobench. Oh, watch this. I can do exclamation mark shop. And now I'll point you to Retrobench, the future is 8bit.com, and Retro Ready One. Here's Retrobench. Boom. Check it out. Retrobench has got, oh, he's got the Re Amiga 1200, the, the board from John Hertel. He's got cap kits. He's got all, there's a PCM say a compact flash adapter. He's got, he's got all kinds of rad stuff. I highly recommend you go support Retrobench and the future was 8bit.com. And Retro Ready One, my man, Sir Lucas. No, uh, Tani, I don't program an Amiga. I don't. You need 2,000 caps? Do it, Oram. Do it. And Retrobench, Retrobench ships it to New York, and it's so it's so fast, too. Mr. Mr. Lokens loves the future's 8-bit? Yeah, dude. I don't program, Tani. I wish I did. I wish I did. Alright, let's take a quick peek through the CDTV book, real quick. Check it out. Uh, overhead camera. Here's the CDTV disc reference guide from Amiga J. It starts out with arts and leisure, education, entertainment, music, productivity, reference, new wave, canceled titles, did they or didn't they, and CDTV title statistics. 
And it's just, I mean, this is just a, a reference guide of everything CDTV. I always wanted a CDTV. It was a cool thing. My buddy Scott Kennedy, remember Scott Kennedy Mayhem, maybe? Scott had a CDTV. And speaking of programming, he used to do our programming SIGs at Westchester Media User Group. He was a good C programmer. And uh, we'd meet at Scott's house, and he would bust out his CDTV. He'd use a CDTV instead of an Amiga 500. But look at this book. There's Loom. Loom for the CDTV. Crazy. There's so much in this book, it's, it's just awesome. Retro Bench gifted a tier 1 sub to Mayhem Maybe and Invent71. Retro Bench is, is on fire today. <laughs> yeah, post your pics, Mr. Mr. Lokens. Exclamation mark Discord. It's uh it's the best way to, to get in touch with uh, the community here on my on my streams. Retro Bench gets a tier one sub to Yukon Cornelius Prime. I love that. <laughs> Monster Joy6 has got a sub. And Athena Nova has got the sub. Nice. <laughs> Tani says, it's easy. Just leave your friends, family, and everything that makes you happy. And then you can program in peace. <laughs> I know, right? That's the way it goes, right, Tani? <laughs> Oh, 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast has got the A570 that turns his Amiga 500 into a CDTV. Nice! Yo, Stern Colonel Kaid. Stern. I can't even pronounce that. Stern Colonel UK, thank you. Yo, Dome Dags, sleep well, and Dome Dags, thank you so much for the host, the raid. I appreciate it, Dome Dags. That is very, very kind of you. Sleep well. Everyone go follow Dome Dags here on Twitch. He is a great. Commodore and retro streamer Dome Dags, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sleep well and have a great week, Dome Dags. Pixels at Dawn, let me throw the link into the chat. Let me So you get this book from the great Amiga J. If you want to know where to get it, do exclamation mark. I think it's exclamation mark J in the chat. Did that work? Yes. There you go. Exclamation mark J will link you to uh, Amiga J's site where you can buy this amazing CDTV reference guide. And now let's take a look at the fanzines. Now, the, here's the cool thing about these CD32 fanzines. I don't have a CD32, but the magazines are still great. Look, he's got Worthy. He reviews Worthy in this one. And let me tell you, Amiga J don't pull any punches, man. Amiga J tells you his real feelings about the game. There's a great review of Worthy. Worthy, you know, one of the best games to come out last year. Here's a review of Reshoot, which is the prequel to Reshooter. Lumberjack Reloaded. I love Lumberjack. That's a great game. So I came in second place at the Lumberjack competition at uh, an Ami party. These these uh, these fanzines are awesome. I normally I was I was gonna spend uh, more time going through these, but uh, I, I haven't even played any games. So I'm like well into the stream. We're like an hour and ten minutes into the stream. I still haven't played a game. CD32 previews, previews of new games coming up. Again, this this issue is like a little bit older. Uh, let's see, does he do the A to Z of CD32 games? Dude, it, it, this magazine's awesome. Interview with uh, Martin Brown from Team17. This is uh, this is a top quality magazine. That is issue number one, CD32 scene. Uh, issue number two has got Reshooter and Power Glove, one of my other favorite games uh, to come out in recent years. Oh, there's a Terrible Fire 328 expansion card for the CD32. I mean, these these little fanzines are, are awesome. Zero Sphere, we played Zero Sphere. That, that's a trippy and awesome game. Heroes of Golruth, nice. I've got heroes up there on the shelf. A little Tiger Claw review. Power Glove Reloaded review. Love Power Glove. He goes into different uh, PD games on the Amiga. Golden Wing, Barbarian Plus, we played that last week. You All, Highway Sprint, some Eroc stuff, the Kiwi's Tale. A Mission Impossible, he's got the Eroc stuff up there. Interview with Richard Lowenstein, creator of Reshooter and Reshoot. So anyway, these magazines rock. Are you guys ready to do a little a little giveaway? <laughs> I mean, these are these are very inexpensive magazines. So I, I if you don't win the compo, I suggest you go buy them and support Amiga J anyway because they're they're well worth the money. And of course, the physical copy is the best. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and do the giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a long time, so I'm a little rusty. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. I'm gonna being that see this issue number two is a PDF only. I'm gonna do this giveaway first in case. It goes wrong, <laughs> and then I'll I'll uh, I'll wrap off this one, which is the PDF plus an ISO file. Cool. T 
Tani, the, the magazines are only in English as far as I know. Sakatumi, is there an easy way to play CD32 games on Amiga 1200 4000? Yes, you can, you can, Sakatumi. I actually need to make a video about that. That, that is a video I, I want to make. Um, yes, you can, if you have a CD-ROM drive, uh, you can do it. There's a, a little piece of software that you can use that will let you do it. And then you can even take like the output of the CD-ROM, like the audio output of the CD-ROM, and put it into some external speakers, and uh, get the get the sound off the CD tracks off of it. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some kind of uh, video about that for sure. Quiet House, why visit the next Ami party in Poland? No, because the next Ami party is in January, but I, I'm coming to Poland in the spring. So I don't know what's going on in Poland in the spring. I, I'm kind of hoping that I have to come around revision time. That'd be awesome. But if there's a Polish party going on when I'm coming, I'll definitely stay a little longer or a little shorter and go go to the party. I'm coming in the spring. I, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I have no idea how to pronounce your name, but thank you for the follow. Um, Stirred Journal. Cried UK. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm so bad at pronounce, uh, pronouncing. Don't pronouncing names. Dancing Wolf, it is a pleasure to have you. Dancing Wolf made some amazing artwork for me, and I'm going to do another Amiga art stream, maybe next week, and I, I'm going to check out all Dancing Wolf stuff. It, it looks incredible. It's a pleasure to have you here. Steve, Steve's Retro, I'm drinking fermented tea called kombucha. Oh, it's pronounced killed. Killed, got it. Sternal killed UK. <laughs> I'm sorry. Doc... Doc Hauser. There, Doc Hauser. That's an easy one for me to pronounce. Thank you for the follow, Doc. It's a pleasure to have you. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, exactly. I forgot what the software is called, Anthony. Uh, the software came um, Squirrel Scuzzy that let the 1200 pretend it was a CD32. I could be wrong about how about the software name, but I know people use it with the Vampire in 1200. Yeah, Mayhem, that's what we were doing at the Vampire meeting at WUG. And I'm going to kind of do like a little video about that. Fermented tea. T. T E A. Like the Boston Tea Party. Yo, Space, thank you. Space, Space Aid Farley, thank you so much for the subscription. That is super, super kind of you, the Space Ace. <laughs> thank you so much for the subscription, man. I appreciate that so very, very much. Thank you. Thank you for all your support today, everyone. Thanks to everyone for all the. The follows and the subscriptions, oh my god. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Ten minutes says you should drink tea before it becomes rotten. Yeah, but then then there's no alcohol in it. <laughs> Alright, let's try it. Let's try this little raffle. So Quile says, What what would you recommend you to put in the checkmate fifteen hundred? Whatever you want. I, I would say I would say the Tabor, but it's not out yet. That would be I, if I were if I had a checkmate fifteen hundred, I would I would use the Tabor. CD32 forever, Amiga DJ? Yeah, dude. CD32 rocks. I want to do this little giveaway now because I want to actually play some games. Andre Wag Sorensen. Thank you for the follow, Andre. It is a pleasure. A pleasure to have you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff from Real Amigas. I got my 1200 here today. We're about to play some games. First, we're going to do a little giveaway. I'm going to give away a PDF of these CD32 zines from Amiga J. I stream about once a week. You never know when I'm gonna stream. I'm a moving target because my work schedule always changes. But I always announce my streams about 24 hours in advance, if not more. If you follow me on Twitter at the Guru Meditate, Facebook.com slash the Guru Meditation, or you enter my Discord, you can do exclamation mark Discord, you'll know when I stream in advance. <laughs> mayhem guys, checkmate 1500 for the Tabor, whatever century it comes out. <laughs> I know, I hope it comes out soon, ma'am. I hope. I would love I would love to have a CD32. I would love it. Rule of Thirds says the Sunday streams have been great. I, Rule of Thirds, I, I'm liking the Sunday streams a lot. A lot. I, and I just sometimes I can't stream on Sunday because Sunday is a lot of times a travel day for me because I travel for work. So a lot of times I'll travel Sunday to be there for Monday. So sometimes the Sunday doesn't work out. But when it does work out, I'm going to shoot for Sunday. These have been great. You can play CD32 games on the X5000, Brotherville. Nice. Nice. All right, let's try this raffle. So, I'm about to give away a PDF copy of this CD32 issue number two from Amiga J. Let's try this. Let me see. Let me go over here to my Nightbot. Here's how this is going to work. What we're going to do, 
let's try this. We're going to do a keyword. We're going to do a keyword. So if you want to, if you want to get in on this, this competition and win a PDF version of this, our keyword is going to be J J A Y. Okay. Enter J into the chat and you'll be eligible for the competition. Now I just, I'm going to be completely transparent here. I'm going to give, I'm going to give subscribers a click more luck and I'm going to give regulars a click more luck. Okay. So if you're a regular here or a subscriber, you'll get, you'll get a little more luck. You'll get a little more luck to, to win the PDF. Okay. I think this is going to work. <laughs> we'll see. Um, right now we got 30 eligible users. Excellent. Yeah. Password is J. Keep going. Uh, there's something else I want to try here while we're doing this. While we're doing this, I also want to, I'm going to stop the music for a second. We're going to do, I'm going to add a new song here. Actually, let me quit out of Hippo Player. We're going to add a special new song. My main man, Comatron, who I know is in chat, just made a new song. And I'm going to play it. Uh, it's going to be the raffle, the raffle music. Okay. So I'm going to play Comatron's song. I haven't heard it yet. This is very exciting. Comatron, Comatron and Dascon, they made a song called Deer Stand. And it is an... An homage to Comatron's Deer Stand, where he goes into the woods and he writes he writes music in the woods on his Deer Stand, and that's the name of the song. It is for an Amiga magazine. We'll check out we'll check out the link to his magazine after the raffle. We're gonna uh, first we'll we'll play a little music while, while everyone's getting in on on the J. Type J into chat and you will be eligible for a PDF version of issue number two of Amiga J's CD32 Zine. Sound a good coma. I'm gonna turn it up a click. This is fun. Yo, Code Rao, thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate that very, very much. <laughs> Mayhem's not gonna play. Fair enough, Mayhem. You're a good man, Mayhem. You're a good man. Comatron rocks, especially at Christmas cards. Ah, I can't wait. I can't wait to uh, see that dancing wall. Uchba, what's up, Uchba? Great to see you. I'm doing great. When the song is over, when the song is over, I'll, I'll roll it. Right now we got 47 eligible people for the PDF. Comatron, I'm loving it, dude. Pacemaker, I like your animated your animated emojis there. I gotta get some animated emojis. Amiga Live, yeah, I'm doing a PDF raffle because it's easier for me to distribute. Like, you'll get your PDF right away. It's harder for me to mail it. <laughs> so I figured a PDF would be fun. And this is the honor system. If you do win the PDF, please don't give it out. Amiga J is a good man. Don't steal from Amiga J. He's a pillar of the Amiga community. He gives us great stuff for our CD32. So you'll get some really bad karma if you, if you distribute the PDF around. Comat Comatron, your song is rocking, and it's longer than I thought. I 
Oh, there's no Amiga Live. I'm just going to send you the PDF directly. Oh, password lock it. That's a, that's a good point. I guess we could do that. You guys, let's roll it. All right. I'm, now I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it on screen because I want to make sure everyone knows that uh, you know this is this is a fair competition. Now I am giving regular subscribe. I'm I'm giving subscribers and regulars a little more luck. We got 51 eligible users for the giveaway. Uh, is there a link to the song? Uh, Comatron, um, if you, I can give away your mod too if you want. <laughs> that, that's up to Comatron. Comatron's in chat. He sent this mod to me right before the stream. It's gonna be on a, a disc magazine, which I'll show the link to in a minute. So I don't know if he wants me to give it away or not. So. Let's check it out. We got 51 eligible users. Password J. Let's see who's going to win. Let's see who's going to win the PDF of CD32. Fanzine issue number two. Ready? Three, two, one, roll. Sinlao! Sinlao following since November 22nd, 2016. Sin Lao, congratulations. Sin Lao, dude, Sin Lao, no one deserves it more than Sin Lao. Sin Lao is always in my Discord giving away codes and stuff to like free games that are available. Sin Lao is the man on my Discord. Sin Lao, congrats on the victory, dude. You know, Sin Lao is so generous, I should, I should send you a physical copy too, Sin Lao. <laughs> congrats, Sin Lao. Yeah, almost a three year anniversary. I didn't even know I've been streaming for three years. I didn't even know. <laughs> That's crazy. Sin Lao, no one deserves it more than you. Sin Lao, congrats, my man. Um, Coma says we'll share the tune as soon as the disc is released. Please understand. Right on, Coma. No, that, that's why I want to ask. No worries. Congrats, Sin Lao. So, yeah, Sin Lao, make sure you hit me up on Discord and I'll send you, I'll send you the, the PDF. Okay, bud? I know, Akbafin, I, I think he followed me before I even started streaming. I didn't even know, dude. When the, 2016? I don't even know if I had a Twitch account in 2016. I guess I did. Let's take a quick peek over here. Let's go to... Do I have it here? Uh, yes. Here's the Facebook group for um, Comatron. So this is the, the disc magazine it's gonna be on. I just, I just, oh, it's called, uh, it's called Versus Disc Magazine. And I don't know anything about it. He sent this to me right before the stream, but it looks awesome. The last remaining Amiga chart mag, Versus, alive and kicking since 2004. So this is this is going to be entered in the versus competition. I don't know when it's coming out, Comatron, but you're an awesome dude. I hope you win. <laughs> this is so rad. Sin Lao's been on Twitch before Twitch existed. That's hilarious. Three D Code Warrior gifted a sub to Amiga. Amiga love dot com. I tell you what, I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait until the end to do another raffle. I'm just gonna do it right now because I'm in the raffle mode. We got we got the Comatron music playing. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. All right. Thank you, thank you for that gift, 3D Code Warrior. <laughs> Weasel Beast 2020. What's up, Weasel Beast? It sounded like Ooh La La from Sim Life. Oh, Sim Life. That's a good one. Let me let me queue up the next the next uh, the next raffle here. Let's see. Uh, wow, where the heck? I'm deep. I am deep in. I'm deep in it here. I'm gonna close this, and then I'm gonna open this up. I'll go back to my Nightbot.
All right. I'm going to do another giveaway. Same thing. I'm going to do a keyword. <laughs> I'm going to do another keyword. The keyword to win the first issue of CD32 Scene Magazine along with the ISO file. The keyword is coma. C-O-M-A. Coma. C-O-M-A. C is in cat. O is in orange. M is in Marvin. A is in Amiga. Coma. Coma, in honor of Comatron and his new track. The password is Coma. Mediocrity or bust, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that so much. What else did I miss? I missed some bits. Amiga Love with 32 bits for the CD32. Amiga Love, I appreciate that very much. Purple Haze, I love, I love your animated. I love your animated emotes. I'm gonna have to get in on that. I saw I saw an emote. I saw like a little video camera next to an emote last time I was in. I forgot whose chat I was in. I saw a little video camera. I need to get in on that. There's only 28 eligible users right now. You get to win this. You get to win this amazing PDF of the CD32 zine plus an ISO file. Plus it also comes with CD artwork. You're enjoying the stream? I haven't played a game. <laughs> Am I even going to play any games today? I don't even know. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Coma. C-O-M-A. C-O-M-A. You can see it right here. Coma. C-O-M-A in honor of Comatron. Rule of Thirds. Is this a gaming stream? Apparently, apparently not yet. <laughs> Yo, Rinzen, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very, very much. I am gonna increase subscriber luck again and regulars. I don't I don't want anyone to, you don't have to pay to play. If you're a regular here, you have just as much luck as a subscriber, but I wanna give you all just like a little a little taste. Sanzian needs an excuse to use the C D thirty two, give it to me. Nice. And oh Ram, that's a good that's a good <laughs> that's a good one, but uh, I'm just sending a PDF. I could sign a PDF, I suppose. I'm always here, but sometimes the webcam's not on. Right on. Right on, Pixels at Dawn. Amiga Live knows Amiga Live knows what's up. I did. I did uh, quote clerks. I did. There's only 29 eligible users in the compo right now. I'll give you like another minute. Another minute. Type C-O-M-A in the chat. C-O-M-A. And we'll see who wins the CD32 zine. Adding subscriber luck and regular luck means no increase for anyone. I <laughs> <laughs> Fair, good point there. Fair enough. Fair enough, Purple Haze. But you know what? I just want to say thanks a little bit. Yo, Crystal Dulo 77 thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it very, very much, uh, Chris. Welcome to the stream. We're doing a little giveaway right now. We are giving away this... A PDF version of this beautiful CD32 fanzine from Amiga J. It's the issue number one, and it comes with a, an ISO file. I don't even know what's on the ISO, because I, did, I bought it. I bought it for you. I didn't open the ISO yet, but I'm sure there's awesome stuff on it. An amazing interview with some a Team 17 member. Hey, what's up, Rudy Soup? Great to see you, Rudy. Rudy is the gentleman I was talking about before whose house I ended up at completely randomly. Rudy is Rudy is an awesome streamer, man. He streams pinball. I hit the up down at, in Minneapolis when I was there. I, I love me some pinball. Rudy, welcome. Welcome to the stream, Rudy. It's a pleasure to have you here. Alright, we got 34 eligible users to win the CD32 fanzine issue number one plus ISO file. We're actually, I actually want to play some games today, so I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it. 
Here we go. Coma, there you go. Yo, Bella, what's up, Bella? Great to see you, buddy. Ryzen says, hi, this is the first Twitch channel I followed on Twitch. I'm an old school Commodore 64 and Amiga dude, just getting back into the scene. Oh my god, that is a that is an honor. Thank you, Ryan Zen. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm honored. I'm honored, Ryan. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. All right, here we go. Go, go, go. Here we go. We got 35 users. Keyword coma to win. CD32 zine. Issue number one. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Roll. The winner! DJ Billy Ness. I tell you that the luck gods are are smiling down upon us well today because DJ Billy Nest has been extremely generous to me. He sent me two Greek sticks. I mean, come on, life does not get any better than that. He's gonna help me fix my Greek stick too. DJ Billy Nest, congrats. No one deserves it more than you. Sin Lao and DJ Billy Nest, I'm gonna send you your winnings when the stream is over uh, through my Discord channel. Congratulations to the winners. That was fun. That was super fun, and thanks to everyone for, for hanging out today. That was that was awesome. DJ Billy Ness, I'm so happy for you. That is that is awesome. Now for the CDTV book. <laughs> Amiga Love. I don't... I might be able to make that happen, Amiga Love. Give away my 1,200? That ain't happening. <laughs> Everything must go. <laughs> Sony, no, no, no one won 1200. We're gonna use that 1200 right now. Give away the chair. <laughs> oh man. I need to play some games now. Yo, Fredder18, my man. I do, Amiga Live. I do have the white Greek stick. Of course I do. I need to play some games. It's been, I'm an hour and 34 minutes in the stream and still haven't played a game. <laughs> Someone else can win the rotten fermented tea. Coma, Coma, I love, I love the track, dude. Congrats, I love the track. Yo, Amiga Love, take care, my man. Get some rest. Amiga Love. Dot com. Go check out Amiga Love. Dot com. I think, I think I still got the love command, right? Yes, of course I got the love command. Spread the Amiga Love at Amiga Love. Dot com. Amiga Love is Amiga One Thousand. No one, no one loves the Amiga One Thousand as much as Amiga Love. Maybe we could put put together an Amiga 500 and do a giveaway, brother. Real, maybe if you guys like these giveaways, I might I might have to. I'll do. May I'll do another big giveaway at the end of the year or something like for Christmas. You know what I mean? Amiga was like crazy. He's practically giving it all away. <laughs> Fredder 18, dude. It's been so long, Fredder. I hope I hope all is well. Yeah, Bill just wants to play some games. You know it, poetic. All right, let's um. What we got here, parent. Coma. Congrats, dude. Congrats. I even forgot what I was gonna play today. Like, I, don't <laughs> I even forgot what I was gonna play. Moby, yo. Not not that Moby, the real Moby. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see what, what am I gonna play. Wow. I don't know if I'm even gonna have time to get to all the games that I was gonna play. <laughs> but there was one that came up on uh, on Facebook. I can't remember who posted it. Whoops. There was this game that came up uh, on Facebook. Wait a minute, did I, did I mess this up? There we go, okay. I got nervous there. I was like, wait a minute. This game called Lollipop. Do you wanna see, I'll tell you what, do you wanna see, um, Rear row or 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 lollipop? What do you want me to start with? 
Redder, I'd love to. Amiga DJ, I know, I don't, I was planning on playing games, but I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna play one right now. So Rero is the new hero preview. I need to make an ADF of it. I need to, you wanna see Rero? Search Rero, I, I will do both, I'll say. Hold on, I need, to, I need to make an, <laughs> enjoy the music, I need to, I'm gonna make a floppy disk of Rero. I just need to grab a floppy real quick. Haze, Haze, well, I'm gonna, how about this, we'll do Rero, then we'll do Lollipop, and then we'll do Toki. That will be, and then we'll see what else I get to. But I'm gonna make a floppy of Rero. I probably could just, I probably could just insert it um, virtually, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I like, I like playing games from floppy, you know? Amiga DJ, I I never played Lollipop until until I saw it pop up on my Facebook feed. I wish I knew I wish I knew who mentioned it because I would love to give him a shout out. But I never never played Lollipop. It is a great game. <laughs> Fred Santa says Tina Turner is wrong when she sings "We Don't Need Another Rear Row." <laughs> Soccer Kid, I don't know that one. Pixels at Dawn, Gladiator, Rudy. I'm so glad you're here, dude. It's awesome. I love the fact that like I met you outside of Twitch and now you're here on with me on Twitch. It's awesome. <laughs> Don't worry, just keep streaming the rest of the day. My wife is gonna do a stream after mine. She's doing a, a stream about astrology, so I can't. Unfortunately, I can't stay too late. Dancing Wolf wants to crowdfund a nice mug for me. I've got some really nice mugs. Uh, Dancing Wolf, I got a great Commodore mug. I got at um at uh, which one call at Amy party. This will be this will be uh, done in a second. Yeah, Rudy, uh, Rudy, it was really awesome to meet you and your family. Your family is amazing, dude. It was a privilege for me to to be there and for you to like let us into your home. It was awesome. Your family is just is awesome, Rudy. Seriously, dude. You played lollipop a lot on PC, you like FM music. Amiga DJ. Hey, speaking of that. Um, Amiga DJ, if you're around on Saturday the 16th and you want to come pick up that computer, you're welcome to. Saturday is a good day for me. I'll be around all day on Saturday the 16th. Come pick up your Sony Vio. I also I've got an eMac. If anyone wants an eMac, I'm, I'm giving away an eMac too. <laughs> I don't know if it's the eMac can play Morph OS. Can play. Can can run Morph OS. Because I'm not sure what the specs of the eMac are. I'm not sure if it's got the Radeon card or not. But um, yeah. Oh, Rom, you know it. My Flynn's Arcade. My Flynn's Arcade Tron shirt. I was playing some Tron at the Up Down. All right, Rero's ready. Rian Zen says, I loved your video of the Polish meetup. I have Polish heritage and never have been there, so it's super cool to see. That was, that was a really, really fun video. I, I didn't expect that one to come out like it did. So, uh, chest. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Mika DJ. It's not, it's not, um, it, it's not, it's not like a do or die for Saturday 16th, but, like, I'm available on Saturday 16th if you want to come up and get it then. Amiga Bill Star Signs Aries, because he's got plenty of RAM. Ha! <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> That's a good one. Purple Haze, I missed that one. Oh. I got it. I did. I, I can't remember uh, which game. <laughs> I can't remember which game I played of Rudy's in the basement. It was the second one on the left, but it was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so you, you uh, Mediocrity is wondering if they should 
uh, bust out their Mac Mini G4 and install Morph OS. Give it, a, give it a try. You know, give the email, give the eMac away to the sanitation department where it belongs. <laughs> Ma'am, if no one, if no one picks it up, that, that is where it's going. Amiga, oh, this is nice. Rero, rocket-driven emergency rescue operation. So Rero is a is a fan-made port of Hero for the Amiga that is a work in progress. Play game, enter level code, view high scores, credits, or quit game. Let's just play. <laughs> of course, in the basement. Brother Bill says Morph OS can be installed on Emac. Yeah, but does it? Do all Emacs have the same specs, Brother Bill? I don't. I don't know. The 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 uh, the Emac is so freaking heavy that the, the Emac is a. Uh, I'm giving it away, but you gotta come pick it up. <laughs> it weighs like a thousand pounds. Level code Moe. Okay, Rero. Rero. <laughs> if Scooby Doo were to play Hero, it'd be Rero, right? Tony rocks. We don't need another Rero. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so I got a little jetpack. I can go up. I got my left and my right. Oh, down is a bomb. Got it. I'm going to zap the bat. Now, here's the funny thing. If you want that Emac, the Emac is in my barn. And I, there there's a creature living in my barn. I don't know what the creature is. But when I open the door, the creature in my barn makes a very high-pitched sound. You know like when you go to the doctor and they test your hearing and they give you all different frequencies and you like raise your hand if you can hear it? You don't raise your hand if you can't hear it? The creature makes a really high pitched sound. It sounds just like a hearing test from a doctor. A very high pitch. And I don't know what kind of creature it is. My, I know there were squirrels in there at one point. I saw nuts all over the place. I know there were squirrels in there. But I don't know if squirrels make such a high pitched sound. I'm thinking it could be a bat. It could be a bat in there. Retro awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, this is a new one, Boba Fett. This is Rero. Oh, killing bats. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna get this bat. Got him. It's called a wife. <laughs> Send her in. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, only Emacs with the NVIDIA card will work. Yeah, I know. I don't know what the specs are on this one. I, don't, I have to. I don't know if it's. Um, if it will work, if this Emac will work with Morph OS or not. It's a Vampire 4 and <laughs> that's hilarious. I have an entire sea hiding on the barn. I know there's a, a Groundhog living under the barn. It is a really nice game, right, Sir Chili? Let, if we go in the water. Oh, water, water bad, okay. Apparently, apparently Rero can't swim. Oops. How many, I have uh, four bombs left? Okay. Oh, wow. Dude, I'm impressed with the game. This is a really nice surprise. So, if you were around for the Amiga News section, I found an, a news article from Indie Retro News about this game. Rero is a, it's like a fan-made port of Hero. And uh, that's what we're playing now. I never played it before until, until just now. How many bombs have I? I've got two bombs left. I wonder how I get more bombs, because I know I'm going to run out of bombs soon. What I need to do, too, I'm going to... I'll drop a link into the chat where you can download the game and try it yourself, too. I might have bats in my belfry. I might. I might, ma'am. What, what do you think it is? Like, I, it's like a really high-pitched sound. I never, I, it didn't even seem like, you know what it sounds like? You know those little devices you can put outside your house to like scare away wild animals? My neighbor put one out to scare away the groundhog. It's like a little um, device with a little speaker on it and it's got a solar panel that charges it up and it makes a high pitched sound supposed to deter critters. Oh no. That's what it sounds like. But it's not, it's like a real animal. I wonder what it is. You love the Rick Dangerous sound effects? Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess I have to stay up there. If I don't stay up there, my bomb won't explode. There we go. Look at this. Look at this snake. Nice and gentle here. Nice and gentle. There we go. Okay.
You need to send Riro to get the Mac. <laughs> Predsea says, this is uh, by far the best looking hero clone I've seen. Video game characters are filthy. Jetpack and water don't mix, no. Poor bat, call, call PETA. Our new says, great to see old retro games with new graphics like the River Raid clone, Bridge Strike. I love Bridge Strike, it's super fun. Sakatumi says, Hero was the first Commodore 64 game I played at a friend's house. Good times. You need to send Rero to get the Emac. It's probably a bat. A game similar to Rick Dangerous, nice type for C64. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's dumping on the Emac. Amiga DJ, if you want the Emac, that's yours too. <laughs> oh, the snake got me. All right, I'm gonna have to, let's see. Oh no, am I dead? Rero, English Amiga board preview. I didn't, I didn't write down, I didn't write down the, uh, the level codes. I should have done that. My power was ticking down, yeah. You think it's a bat? Uchpa? I actually, yo, Andy Hexagon, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. It is a pleasure to have you here. City Zen, this game does look awesome. Andy Hexagon, you missed the old Amiga get the days. You love your Amiga 1200? Aw, oh, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm loving my 1200, too. That's what I'm using right now to play Rero. Re this is like a, a fan-inspired remake of the, of the game Hero. The classic Hero game. I played Hero on my Atari 800. It was great. Monster Joysticks. Take care, buddy. Great to have you here. Thank you for hanging out today. I know it's late. I know it's late in your neck of the woods. I appreciate you being here. Do a raffle for the Emac. Any everyone want one, then? <laughs> The problem with the, I can't ship the Emac. The, it, I'm telling you, I never, when I got the Emac, I went to pick it up and I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, it's so freaking heavy. I was like straining myself to, uh, to get it out to the barn. I could, I could bring it through Vision 2020. Can you imagine like checking the EMAC on the plane? <laughs> doing or doing a carry on? Surface 79, um, is this AJ or OCS ECS? Yo, Surface 79, that is a great question. And I, I don't have the answer for you. Let me let me get the answer, hold on. Look, can I pause this? Yeah, nope. Well, I'm gonna get the answer for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop the link to Rero in the chat so all you guys can go download it. Cause he's looking for feedback. He wants you to play the game and give him feedback on levels and level design. So let me um, let me just grab the link and then it'll probably tell me uh, in the link if it's OCS or ECS. I feel like a dummy now. Where is Rero? Here's the Indie Retro News link to Rero. Rero link. Okay, so the game runs on a standard Amiga 500 with 512K of RAM, so it's OCS, but um, it will use more RAM for less track loading. And this is the link I just sent you right here. I just sent you the link to Indie Retro News, and down here you can download the demo. It's an ADF file. So to answer your question, it, it runs on a standard Amiga 500 with 512K, but if you got more RAM, it'll do less track loading. Joe Mac Pillow. This is an OCS game. Thank you, Fred Seda. You can dump it at JFK Airport. Delta has some check in terminals that just look like Emacs. Oh my, that, that's true. That's true, Amiga DJ. Those do, those totally look like Emacs. Yo, live arcade games. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very much. I had, I had a great time at the arcade this week. I went to Up Down Arcade in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It was a blast. They had some good pinball there. They had some good uh, video games. I'm a big fan of the up-down. And of course, they had good beer. Oram took their Amiga 500 on the plane and stuffed it on the carry-on. Yeah, you can you can totally bring a 1200 or 500 on carry-on. That's, that's no problem. Emac is another story, though. 
The EMAC, you can take it on as a carry on, but you'll like break your back. 10 minute, 512, that will work on my Amiga 1000. Yeah, 10 minute, it'll work at 512K. It's, it's awesome. How come uh, no retro in any game can't swim, Akmafin? That's good. It's a good question. <laughs> well, he's got, he does have a jetpack on, so I imagine. I imagine the water would put out the fire of his jetpack. I could put some Phoenix on that EMAC. I'm not even sure what Phoenix is. I'll have to check that out. OCS games play on a Vampire V2 as well, DJ Billy Nest says. This is this is really nice. This is a sweet game. Especially like for free, so come on. If it's free, it's for me, right, Mayhem Maybe? That's Mayhem Maybe's signature slogan. Oh, oh up, up, up. Oh, good, avoid, avoid the snake. Oh wait, the, apparently the bricks. I, I couldn't land on the bricks. Apparently red bricks bad. You learn something new every day. I think he does run out of uh, f fuel. It says power and I see the power counting down. So I'd imagine the power is fuel, but I'm not sure. <laughs> not even, not even garbage men want the emac. <laughs> probably, you're probably right. It's too heavy. <laughs> DJ Billy Ness has got a one gigahertz emac. It's so heavy, dude. It's so heavy. It's crazy. It's like backbreakingly heavy. So I'm guessing the red wall would kill me. So I'm just gonna blow that sucker up. Boom. Done with that. Go over the lava. Get out. Get out. Dodge. Do I go down left or right? Oh, left was the wrong choice. <laughs> I should have known because all the obstacles were over there on the right. Rero, rocket driven emergency rescue. I'll tell you what. I've got so many games to play today. I'm gonna move on to the next one. But I gotta. I gotta. I gotta pee really bad. Free is best. Yeah, lava bricks. Exactly, Ariary. Sigur Bjorn says level 4 code is... Okay, got it. Thank you, Sigur. Thank you very much. Pixel at Dawn says they are brown bricks. The red is the blood of previous failed reros. Yo, Sanzian, it is great to have you here as well. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for all your support, as always. Everyone go check out the futurist8bit.com. Sanzian and his team are top-notch people. Give your give my best to your families, Tim, and you know, sleep well. I'll see you. I'll see you on on Twitter during the week. Phoenix is the modern OS for power PC computers. Oh, I never tried that. I never tried that, brother Bill. Sweet. I'll check it out. This music is really good. I'm gonna leave it on. I'll be back. I'll be back in like two seconds. Actually, I'll be back in like five because I'm gonna grab a beer. You guys are getting salty while I'm gone, huh? Atari, Atari is, uh, is, I like Atari. 
Yo, I, I said I was gonna grab a beer. I almost grabbed a beer. I got this Michelob Ultra thing. I, I just grabbed the first thing that was in the refrigerator. But anyway, the good thing is it's a twist off. I just wanna say thanks to everyone for hanging out today. I love doing these streams every week. It's a, a pleasure to have you all here. Thanks everyone for taking your time out of your day to come check out my silly shenanigans. I do these streams to hang out with my friends. I consider you all friends. These are like Westchester Amiga user group meetings virtually. You know what I'm saying? So cheers everyone. Thanks for hanging out today. Cheers to Retro. Cheers to Amiga. Good times. I really, really enjoy hanging out with everyone. I have so much fun. And I'm so lucky to hang out with so many awesome friends. I'm like super, super, I, I love these. Every time I stream, my wife is always like, man, you're so happy after the streams. I'm like, I know, because I have like the best friends in the world. Log forever, you know it? I know, 10 minutes, this, not, this isn't really a beer. You know what I mean? It's almost a beer. <laughs> Rinzen, thanks for streaming. It's such a cool stream. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I didn't. It took me a while to get to the games, but I was freestyling it, you know. Oh, Amiga Live, good point. Cheers to Bill and Akmafin for his birthday. Akmafin, happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday to Finland. From New York to Finland, Akmafin, thank you for all the support. You and Air Gary, best. I'm gonna tell you. Happy birthday, dude. I hope you're having a great day. DJ Billy Ness, cheers to you. Cheers to Cheers to the Vintage Computer Society of Athens. I'm gonna get there one day. Uchpa Chan, salute to you. Nice, nice emote there, Akmafin. Actually, the Mikkel the Michelob Ultra is actually good. The Michelob Ultra is good because uh, I have a, a meeting tonight of the Carolwood. <laughs> The Carolwood Boys Club, we're watching the New York Rangers. And being that none of us have to drive, it's like all the the, the Ranger fans in my community get together and we, and we watch the game. I know the game happened earlier today, but we recorded it because I knew I was streaming today. Um, we're, being that we don't have to drive, we, sometimes we get a little a little sloppy, you know? So the Michelob Ultra is a good warm-up. <laughs> Poetic Android. Wow. Poetic Android, thank you for gifting a sub to Sinlao. Donkey Klonk, Epic Android, Orom, and Santi Dark G. Poetic Android, that is super, super kind of you, Poetic. Thank you so much. I can't wait. I can't wait to um, to download your your software. That's gonna be sweet. Ten minute Amiga Retrocast just copied, rewrote to floppy. You're gonna see if it works. Oh, ten minute. I can't wait to check out your video about Ami West. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but I can't wait. Rangers rule, brother Bill. Who do you like, the Icelanders? <laughs> Yo, the Purple Hazemaker gifted a tier one sub to Akmafin for his birthday. Hazemaker, that is super, super kind and generous of you. Super kind. Thank you. Thank you, Hazemaker. Akmafin, welcome to the sub club. I'm going to make some new emotes. I want to do something. It might be fun to do something for, for my subs. Like, I don't know what little extra thing I can do. I gotta think of something, a little something extra, you know? Anyone who's a subscriber may send them like a, a WOG newsletter or something like that, you know? Oh, you're an Islander fan, Brother Bill? You're not from Long Island, come on. Icelanders, the Nassau Mausoleum, come on now. <laughs> the Islanders are pretty good this year though, I'll give them credit for that. I like Tavares, but he's gone. Let's play some Lollipop. Oh, thank you for the link, Brother Bill, I'll check it out. You had a fun trip to Sacramento. I was in LA during Ami West. Only 1.25 gigahertz and 1.42 gigahertz models of the Emacs are supported for Morph OS. Got it. I can have a Jack Tremiel emote if I want it. <laughs> Thanks, Purple Haze. So I saw someone post Lollipop on Facebook, and I wish I remember who did, because I would give him credit. For, for bringing it to my attention, but I never played the game before and it looks super, super cool. It's actually a perfect game for Christmas time because you're like a toy in a toy factory, as you'll see in a second. Code Tapper, number one, nice. I never heard of Lollipop either. Brother Bill, you're originally from Queens. That makes sense. Got, I, for, I did forget about that, Brother Bill. I always think of you as a Yonkers guy. 
I forgot about about the queens the queens factor. That makes sense now. That all makes sense. So like check it out. We had should I stretch it out to fill the the full screen? I don't know what to do in these situations. I, normally I don't stretch because I like to preserve the correct aspect ratio. It's just looking a little small, you know? I don't like it when it doesn't come all the way to the bottom. Upachan, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Probably the only Icelander in the stream. <laughs> Poetic, I like the graphics in this one too. Toy Bazaar was a Commodore 64 game. Foul tip. Foul tip. Nice. I never played. I never played that one. Andy Hexagon says it looks great. No need to stretch. I'm not gonna stretch because I uh, I don't like to mess up the aspect ratio. You know. All right. Let's see. All right. Jump. See. So check it out on the on the joystick. Right now I have it in normal mode. So if I push up, it jumps. But if I switch it over. I can use second button to jump. Obviously, if the game needs two buttons, then that doesn't work so well. I thought there was a way I could get uh, a special box of goodies. There it is. Okay, got it. Cool. That's how I did it. Oh, what did we get? We got a candy cane, a lollipop, some money bags. Nice. Now we can throw more lollipops. Not, we're a double lollipop shooter. Sin Lao, did. Oh yeah, Sin Lao, you're a subscriber now. You are subscribed, Sin Lao. You were gifted a subscription from Poetic Android. Amiga Bill knows his aspect ratios. Make an anamorphic widescreen. <laughs> yeah, right. I do know my aspect ratios. CD32 could have used a jump button mode. Yeah, where Night Shift is another notable game set in Toy, Toy Factory. Donkey Kong. I never... Is Night Shift an Amiga game? I don't know that one, Donkey Kong. Steve's Retro. Yo, Steve, great to see you. Sorry I didn't see you in there before. Thank you for the kind words, Steve. I appreciate that. Look at these these guys. These these guys are giving out toxic gas. Got that one. Jump. Got him. Nice. Boom. Okay, so puff, puff, puff. Puff, puff, puff. This pattern is random. Puff. Puff. Alright. Puff. Puff. Alright, I'm going for it. There we go. Nice. Drip, drip. I see the drip start. All right, got that. All right, I'm waiting for the, the platform to come back. Drip, jump, got it. Got to avoid the drip. Oh, look at that. You can bump your head on the ceiling. Puff, 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 puff. I like how he's getting upset with me. Puff, run. Got it. I'm on top of a barrel of toxic waste right now. This game is really fun. This, oh, look at this Hulk smasher. Go. Boom, got it. Checkpoint. Bingo. Donkey Kong, Night Shift on the Amiga. I'm gonna have to check it out. Steve's Retro, uh, oh jeez. Have you been streaming, Steve? Oh, the tank is shooting at me. Got it. You love the Smasher? Except when the Smasher smashes you. Let's open up this, let's see what we got. We got a globe. A globe. The silo is now open. We got a globe, a screwdriver. What else did we get? Just a globe and a screwdriver. And a two lollipop shooter. <laughs> oh, Rom, it's a fair point. Yes, you can destroy... What did you learn on stream today? You can destroy tanks with lollipops. Up, oh, jump. Jump. Good, got it. Okay, cool. Avoided that. There's a monkey. I don't like killing the monkey. It really bothers me. I like monkeys. Uh oh. What monkey give us? Some kind of puzzle. Okay. Thank you, monkey. Sorry. I'm sorry I had to sacrifice you for that piece of the puzzle. 
that sma that's a big smasher. I'm gonna avoid that one. Jump, jump, watch out for that drip. I love these robots. These robots are rad. Jump, smash, and down. I'm gonna land on there, and then we're up. Okay, cool, and now we're going like that, perfect. Dude, how morbid is that? Look at that, that robot holding the toy in its right hand. That's scary. I'm scared. Lots of screen shake happening here. These, oh my god. Those, those are some heavy, heavy balls. Oh good, I can destroy these. Okay, cool. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Love it. What's up here? Checkpoint. How do I get up there? There's a teddy bear in the foreground. I like the foreground elements. Those can't be destroyed. Interesting. Now I wonder how to get up there. Got that. Oh, I probably have to... Can I get up like... Oh, okay, cool. I can do that. Let's hit the checkpoint. Got it. Got it. This is a trippy game. I like it. There's some drip happening up there. Got it. Boom. Jump. jump. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Jump over this. We're good. Okay, cool. Jump through the electric field here. Jump. Alright. What the heck just happened? Oh, time's up. Bummer. I was into it. I was into it. Presumably you just give them diabetes, hilarious. It's a twisted monkey. It's a toy tank. Every kid knows sticky things destroy things. The capture wobble makes you dizzy? Is is it oh really? Is my I'll have to um I got I'll work on that, Amiga DJ. Oh, that was very poor timing there. Drip, drip. drip. Go. What do we got? In, what do we got in the toy chest here? Oh, there's another tank. Got him. I got power shoes. Oh, uh, nice. I can jump higher now. I dig. All right, let's go on this elevator. Looks like Dragon Balls. Yay, what's up, Steve? Steve Retro. Good night, Steve. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Oh, wait, why couldn't I jump? What happened? What happened? Surface 79 is a really good game. It plays really well, too. I thought, yeah, there's no way I was gonna uh, squeeze on it. Oh, more, let's kill more monkeys. I know, Mayhem, but you went to, uh, I remember you went to like a, a cool Rangers game when they hoisted the. Uh, they hoisted some kind of banner up. They certainly, they didn't win, so it wasn't a winning banner. Oh my gosh. I just got hit by the 150. Now, how do I know, before they didn't come down. I guess it's just random which one's on hook. Sorry, we don't have the key item. Oh, wow. Run away, run away from that saw. We got it, we got the saw. Oh look, it dropped, it dropped a, uh, it dropped a chest, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go see what's in that chest. More lollipops, maybe. An arrow, a lollipop, and, ooh, I don't, should I pick that up? It's like a, it's a vial with a skull on it. I don't think I should have picked that up. I think I made the right call there. I know it's just like a kill all enemies, but I have a feeling if I pick that up, I might have I might have gotten ill. Go into that sewer pipe. Oh, I thought you go into that. Can you go into that pipe?
can't go in that. I can't go in that tunnel. The music is really cool, Ryan's, and I, I I agree. Amiga Life didn't give this game much of a chance when he was small, having tons of platformers to choose from. But looking at this game today, it looks technically well made. It is. It is Amiga Live. It's nice. Oh no worries, Sin Lao. I'll I'll uh I'll send you the PDF. And I should you know I should have um I wasn't prepared for it. Maybe on the next stream I'll do another raffle and I'll raffle off the CD32 book. I just don't have an extra copy of it. But what, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I could just buy one from Mega J and have him ship it directly. You know what I mean? Can I get up there? Oh, that's probably what I have to do. Can I go up here? Up here? Let's try. I think that yellow. Can I grab that yellow chain? Nope. Up here. <laughs> James is saying, is, is this the music I was belly dancing to? No, but you know what? I think I'm going to record it and bring it to the next belly dance performance. Oh, Ram, you want to know where you can purchase this game or we can purchase the Amiga J magazines that I was raffling off these? This game, I don't know, I, this game is not really a, this is an old game, it's not really a purchasable game, if you know what I mean. <laughs> There's a section where you have to go up to get something you need. I, I, I gotta hunt you right there, me and DJ. I didn't go up. Oh, you were at the USA versus U, uh, Russia hockey game? That's awesome, ma'am. I just got sliced and diced by that saw. Yeah, I thought grabbing the L chain was a ticket too, Amiga Live. Snake charming music. Nice. No, Dancing Wolf, this was released. You can download it from the usual places, exactly. No, this, yeah, this is a classic. <laughs> Great job on the name there, Bill. Great job. I, I am curious. I want to. I do want to get a little information about it. Let me see. Um, let's go to Lemon. Let's go to Lemon. Exclamation mark Lemon. Check out Lemon Amiga. Lollipop. L O L L Y. L O L L Y. P O P. Search. Lollipop. Details. Okay, let's check it out. Lollipop's got a score of 7.4 on Lemon Amiga. Copyright. It came out in 1995 from Soft, Soft Gold. It is OCS or ECS. It was. It came as five floppy disks. It's a platformer, side-scrolling platformer, commercial release. Possible download sites. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Someone wrote, it certainly looks neat. Never played it though. Maybe it was one of those Ami games that was only released in Europe. Possibly. Very well presented, but also quite limited platformer. It basically relies on pixel perfect jumps and constant trickiness in an attempt to be interesting. A nice little gem. I'm digging it so far. What do you guys think? One more round, one more round of lollipop and then I'll change games. 32 bits, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate 32 bits. You need to get all the objects to pass, got it. Channel change to <laughs> AABBL. <laughs> Yeah, Surface 79 is right. There's, if you're uh, if you got WHD load, you can you can go download a lot of a lot of cool games. I get, uh, I get my WHD load. I get most of my stuff from Tosec. I just got a hard drive full, full of Tosec. There was a really good site for WHD load that I used to go to, and it. It's not available anymore, but there's still you can still get it. 
I'll get it from other sites. That uh, the link that Lemon had was probably a good one. I've gotten good stuff from Lemon's links before. Oh come on, that did, that that gas didn't hit me. Destroy that tank. That tank is no match for my lollipops. I don't know what the yellow arrow does, and I notice I'm getting candy. If you look, it says three. I got three lives on the lower left. Now, am I supposed to go up there? Let's see. Can I get up there? Doesn't look like there's anything up here, but I was further along before anyway. All right, let's go. I like the game. I think it's a cool game. I can't believe that drip got me. Got it. This is a fun little game. Oh, that freaking... Jeez. Oh, it's got owns there. It's a pretty morbid game, too. So, that brings down this platform. So, obviously, I need to get on this... Whoa, I forgot about those guys. I need to get up on that platform. I bet you that's the part where I have to go up. Let's get up there. There we go. Amiga DJ on December 6th. Oh, nice. There we go. On December 6th, uh, the Vintage Computer Federation is having their holiday party again. If you wanna, if you wanna go with me, I'm gonna, I'm, if I'm in town, I'm gonna go. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna be in town yet, but if I'm in town, I'm definitely gonna go. If you wanna go again, that was fun. It was a lot of fun. If not, I'll see you at Westchester Community College to pick up your shiny new <laughs> Sony Vio. That actually, so Amiga DJ, fun fact. I edited, I shot a music video at the Limelight nightclub back in, it was either like 99 or 2000. And that music video could still potentially be on that Sony Vio. I don't know. Oh my god, my controls just got reversed. I just picked up something that reversed my controls. That, that, that's awful. Mirror, mirror on the wall. This is like impossible. Okay, okay, they're back to normal now. Which way? Left? Okay, left. Going down left. That must be the piece that I was missing. Oh, oh no. I guess I can just go... Do I have to go up and over again? We'll find out. I'll go down here. Nope. I have to go up and over again. Yeah, Amiga DJ, this time I'm hoping... What well, I'm hoping to do by the time that happens on December 6th, I'm hoping to build up my new PAL 1200 with the CD32 style case and bring that. That's what I'm hoping to do. And I'll, I can have my 1084S. We'll do uh, both NTSC and PAL. So I'll, I'll give that a go. So it's, it's December 6th. I know the real Tony Rocks is going to be there too. Oh, okay. So I think I hit the bottom of that platform and that's what hurt me. I must have hit that gear. I'm waiting for this platform to come up. There we go. Got it. Go down here. Perfect. Go down this guy. This one. This one. I kind of like the physics. I like how you got a little bit of inertia there. Oh, man. You can't hit the wall. That's a little lame. Now what? Uh, should I just drop down, or should I try and jump onto the, onto that? I'm just dropping. The, oh, it was there. Game over. Okay. The BHD load has outdated installs. Get it from EAB's file server. The retro play collection is up to date. Oh, nice, nice, Amiga DJ. Oop job. No problem, dude. The color palette is awesome for this game. I agree, DJ Billy Nest. I gotta tell you, Lollipop is a sweet little game. What time is it? Oh, 6.21. Okay, yeah, I, I'm gonna move on to the next game. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Eight thirty is my club meeting.
Okay, let's reboot. I'm gonna go to an old school platformer. Now, the game we're about to play is uh, one I played, one of my first games that I played on my Amiga 500. It's called Dexter. It's, uh, Dexter, I'm pretty sure, was Commodore 64 first. But I love this game. It plays a little Moonlight Sonata at the beginning. We'll play a little Dexter. And then what else did I what else did I have on store for today? Dexter, window, show, all files. I don't have a ton of time left, unfortunately. Dexter, Thomas the Tank. Oh, and Toki. Hazemaker, are you still here? I'll do a little text Dexter and then we'll do Toki. And then we'll we'll close out the stream with Toki. We'll do some Thomas the Tank Engine pinball next stream. You never played Dexter? Amiga DJ. I always was wondering what she says when she she says something backwards. Oh, Ram has a great question. Did I ever go to any any Ami Expo shows in New York, and did I record any videos of it? Oh, oh, Ram, yes, I went to every single Ami Expo show in New York, most of them with with Mayhem, maybe. Unfortunately, the answer to the second question is no. I never recorded any video of it. So, it would, I would, I wish I had video of it. It was amazing. So what did she say? I don't even know. Hayes likes some Tokyo, I know. You never played Dexter? I love Dexter. So it's basically an auto aim. So if I'm running to the right here, I just hit the button and it auto aims to, to those characters. There, each, uh, the enemies do different things. There are some enemies that will give you extra energy and others are just regular enemies if you push down on the joystick it will turn you into a jet which is awesome but you see now the trick is see now it's auto aiming down to the enemies on the bottom so you kind of have to like plan your stuff out this was one of the first platformers i ever played i played on my amiga 500 oh jeez. try it again <laughs> Rudy Soup, you used to play this? Nice. I'm pretty sure Dexter was a Commodore 64 game. I could be wrong about that. I'll have to check Lemon Amiga. Rudy Soup, I should pl I'll play some pinball for you. There's some really classic Amiga pinball games. May I'll do a pinball stream. Because Amiga's got some really, really great pinball games. I think you would like them a lot. Oh, I know what's wrong. I've got... I have to remap my buttons because I push up and the up doesn't work because I got mapped to the second button. Here we go. This is uh, Thexter. Yes, it is a Transformer Amiga Live. Rudy Soup says Thexter is amazing. It, it's it's not as hard as it looks, Amiga DJ. I'm just I'm doing a good job of making it look hard. Yes, it is hard. But it was hard because I didn't have up engaged on the joystick. <laughs> the, the auto aim is hard. So get that rascal. There he goes. Blast my way through that door. I will be there later. These guys are hard. Those guys give you the extra energy. Oh god. Is it, the problem with this game is like once you once you get stuck, you're you're in big trouble. <laughs> we'll try that again. See, it's really hard there because it's also trying to shoot the guys below you and you obviously can't get them because you have to shoot through you can't shoot through the ground there we go there we go here we go open up this door yeah these guys are real hard
No, the lower one. I guess I should just let them be. <laughs> Your friend had this. Oh, nice, Rudy Soup. Rian Zen, you f totally forgot about this game. You used to play it on the Amiga. Amiga Live, yes, you can shoot while in jet mode. The speech at the start is Warning Intruder. Warning, intruder. That speech is Warning Intruder, but there's another one that I think is backwards. When the game first started, I couldn't. I think it's backwards. And I seem to remember recording it on cassette tape and then like playing it backwards when I was a kid <laughs> to try and figure out what it was. Oh god. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kill. You still have playing the game Ballistics. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Battletard used to play this one on DOS. Oh, maybe it was originally a DOS game. I'll have to, I'll have to look into it. I just remember this being one of the first games I played on my 500. It's so funny how like the mouse is still still there. <laughs> Amiga DJ says this is one of the few Japanese games ported to Amiga. That that is a very interesting fact, Amiga DJ. There we go. It is it is it is a hard game. The hard part is when you transform from the spaceship to the robot, is that delay. So if you're outrun, trying to outrun the enemies, there's that delay. I'm trying to remember what I, how I used to deal with those guys. I think I would just let them be. <laughs> oh, I didn't know those sandwiches could kill you. There we go, okay. I know there's more up ahead, so I'll, I'll just get some energy. Those guys, when you kill those guys, it gives you more energy. Come on. Come on. The auto-aim is, is tough. There we go. I'll get all my energy back here. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to lower these guys down here. Because when you're a spaceship, you can only shoot forward. When you're uh, when you're the, the robot, you can shoot Diagonally as well, and up down. This guy's on me. This guy's on me. I give him the old juke. See, there's that delay. The delay, delay, the delay is tough, man. It's so tough. Oh, those can't, you can't kill us. Oh man, I am almost dead. I'm dead. Let me at least finish this, and then I'll do it. Ryan Zen used to have an Amiga 500 back in the day. His goal is to set it up and get an Amiga 1200. Nice. I, I love the, the 1200 very much. The concept does seem very Japanese. Robots are dangerous. Terminate it. <laughs> Epic Android and Poetic Android, the two androids hooking each other up. I, I, I dig. I, I really like the music in this game as well. Uh, the Moonlight Sonata is, is beautiful at the beginning. Oh, sheepers. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> done. <laughs> was it on Sega Master System? It's a good question. I don't know. He looks like he he does look like Turrican. It's an addicting game. Man, I used to love this game so much back in the day. I want to at least clear this this section, get through that gate, and then we'll play some Loki. Loki for Haze. Loki, one of the, the best arcade ports on Amiga. Oh, dude, come on. The auto-aim is tough. I'm opening that up for future use. Alright, here. I'm going to let these guys... I'm going to lure them over to the right. And I'm going up. Okay, and we'll go here. So, okay, so these guys only kill you if you land on top of them. Got it. 
Nice. We, we did that much better this time. I learned. The auto-aim is tricky because it's trying to shoot up on the top and I want it to bust through the wall, you know? Got those guys. That's a whole lot of energy. So I'm going to try and defeat these guys first and then save the energy if I need it. Boom. Oh, yes. Own them. That's, that's how it's played. That is how it's done. Get some energy here. Cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save those two. I'm going to bank those two in case I need them. But I'm in, I'm in really good shape right now. Get that. Good. <gasps> that guy is tough. That guy is tough. The blue orbs with the red. Oh, I'm in trouble. Get out. I got to get to that energy. No, you know what? I'm going to get the energy before I go face him. And the funny thing is, I don't really have to go through there. I just did it because I wanted to clear it, you know? 100%. <laughs> nice! Did it! What's going on over here? Now we're on the second part. Can I go up here? Let's go, let's go check it out. Can I go up? And I'm dead. <laughs> anyway, cool game. Cool game. Yeah, what's up, Misfit Rupu? Yeah, this is a very OG game, Battle Hard, for sure. For sure. This this was Portal Over the Place Epic Android. Oh, Amiga DJ, I don't know what the end goal is, but the idea is you just keep going to the right. <laughs> just keep going to the right. I what? It's so funny, ma'am. It's like you. You can start doing really well, and then in just like an instant, you're freaking dead. Katna remembers when they first finished Flood. One and a half hours of play just to get run over by a car. Oh, man. Let's do some Loki. Let me just... I'm going to play the beginning again really quick so you can hear the backwards language. This was the most interesting thing to me. And I remember putting it onto cassette... No, you know what I did? I recorded it. I put it on the cassette. Then I used perfect sounds to bring it back into the Amiga and play it backwards. And I don't remember what it said. Listen, here we go. Did you hear it? What the heck was that? Ma'am says, kind of like NASCAR, where you always turn left and Dexter, you always run right. Word, word, ma'am. <laughs> Togi, speaking, speaking of monkeys, in the previous game in Lollipop, we killed a monkey, and now, now we are the monkey. It's come full, full circle. Scanning all will release a Tic Tac. <laughs> it's possible. Loki, Loki, it's Toki. Now, Toki is considered one of the best arcade ports on Amiga. And it's a game that I'm really not familiar with. Oh, you want me to play? Hold on, let me. I'll play it once more. Because I think there's no sound right now, anyway. Oh, okay, cool. I'll play it one more time for you, Dancing Wolf. Dancing Wolf, I haven't even looked at your artwork yet on the Amiga, and I'm going to do a stream. During my next stream, I'm actually going to open up and, and check it out. I appreciate you very much. I'm going to turn up the volume. I turned up Amiga volume. I just want to, I want to hear it one more time, too. It just brings back so many memories for me. I remember recording it onto cassette tape and then recording it back to the Amiga with perfect sound and then flipping it. Here we go. Wait for it. Silence. I don't know. It's a great version of Moonlight Sonata, I must say. It's great. I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to have to record it onto cassette tape or quarter inch open reel, bring it back into the Amiga with perfect sound, play it backwards, and see, uh, see what it says.
Tiny Deuce. Well, that is an Amiga game, but that is an old school Amiga game. It's a gorilla with a football helmet and shoots pebbles from his mouth. Yeah, I know. The opening The opening of this game is maybe not NSFW. <laughs> oh, it's crazy because it's like a kid's game, right? You're like this little monkey, but there's that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what the heck? <laughs> I mean, that's... Not gonna lie, twelve-year-old Bill really, really likes that opening. Labyrinth of Caves. The evil hand of Bashtar has seized the lovely Miho. Oh, Miho is, is the one at the beginning. Her beloved, the mighty Toki, has also been dealt by a wicked blow. Now reduced to a lonely ape, Toki must risk a perilous journey to free Miho and regain his manhood. <laughs> I love it. Awesome music. Amiga DJ, this game is a masterpiece of a conversion. Toki was one of your favorites on, on the uh, Mega Drive Misfit. Oh, nice dancing wolf. I'm glad you recorded it? That's awesome. It's one of the first Amiga games I saw and it blew my mind. The, the, the music is great, too. It's a girl with a football helmet and shoots pebbles from his mouth. Yeah, totally. It's difficult, but fun. Nice. The two dudes at Port Toki were brilliant, especially the music. Kind of sad they didn't make much more after. I think they just had regular jobs later. Oh, I didn't know that, Katna. Toki's Japanese. <laughs> the, the, music, the music is good, but I'm sure you're going to want to play back the beginning of Toki instead. One of the dudes lectured at university. Oh, interesting. You want me to code something? I would love to learn how to code something, Tani. I can record it with my phone. I want to record it with cassette tape, and then, you know, I want to record it with one of my, my new quarter-inch uh, open reels. Forget cassette. I'll do open reel, and then play it, and then use perfect sound. So many games start with some hater stealing your girl. You're right, Epic Android. You're right. You need to be quicker and learn to use Audacity or Hope Rest with Dancing Wolf. I might, I might be able. If I do it, I'm gonna do it with the Amiga. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I am not a coder. I would like to learn how to code though. Toki impressed you so much. Never a good time when a man loses his manhood. True, true. Yo, Sin Lao, go get some sleep. Congrats on the victory. I'm gonna send you your PDF as soon as I'm done with the stream. And thanks for all of your awesomeness in my Discord channel. Oh, you think it's the non-English language dancing wolf? It looks like he is spinning out coins. Alright, here we go. I love Pang. Now we get to see the opening again. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so she's kidnapped. Boom. My manhood is lost. I'm reduced to a, to an ape. Time to go kick some bash tar butt. Okay, so up jumps. I wonder, you know what, if I go to two button mode. There we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Get that armadillo. The tricky thing here is you have to shoot before you press up, otherwise you jump up. Make it rain. I'm making it rain coins. Make it rain. <laughs> I think he made it was making it rain in the opening <laughs> in the opening animation. Oh, an evil monkey. Okay, good. Good monkey got the evil monkey. Good prevail today.
There's the football helmet. I'm gonna get the football helmet. That piranha down there looks mighty angry. Look at, look at that ghoul. He's like, blah, blah, blah. yo, Alexander Mejida, long time no see, buddy. I hope all's well, Alexander. Great to see you, man. I'm so my muscle memory is all messed up. I'm hitting the button to jump. I need to be pressing up. All right, let's try that again. I guess I'm jumping too late. I hope all is well out there on the left coast, Alexander. It's been it's been a while. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do any of your uh, October streams. I'm really bummed. I, I was I've been traveling like every week for the past couple months. It's been nuts. But I hope you're doing great, Alexander. It's great to see you. Go ape, yes. I don't know what what is he spitting out. I don't know what he's spitting out. Oh good, I can still shoot while I'm climbing. Cool out those fists. Now clear out those fish heads. Yes. We defeated the big monkey machine. Power up. Oh, now we can breathe fire. Oh, that's sick. How do I clear out these crabs? Purple Haze Maker, how's the this game on the 64? Is it a good version? Oh, look at that blue guy. This 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 game's smooth, man. It's nice. Those freaking spiked balls that come out of that that spiked funnels. There we go. Got there we go. Got it. Blue guy with the daggers. Jump over that sucker. Get blue guy. Got him. Get that crab or spider. How do I get up there? I can't jump that high. How do I get up there? Is there a hidden platform somewhere? You can shoot diagonal. Yeah, shooting diagonal is key. Hut, hut, hut or something. When am I... James, please, when are you going to play the game Flood? James, I, I would love to play. I, uh... I didn't... Whoa. I forgot about uh, you requesting it. James, are you in, the, in my Discord? I need to... What, I wish there was a way I could mark these things, because I would love to play. I would love to play viewer requested games. I never played Flood. Yeah, it's a one-hit death. It is Alexander. Katniss says seems the coder was involved in a few projects, but nothing after 2001. Dude, thank you for that link, uh, Katna. That's awesome. Tokyo looks paler than you remember. Yeah, Alexander, no worries, dude. Whenever, whenever you're ready, I understand. Sigur says the arcade version ate a lot of coins. I, I believe it. Amiga DJ said this game's hard as nails. It's really, it is really hard. He's right. Oh God. Oh jeez. Couldn't run away in time. Yeah, I'm gonna continue. Uh, continue? I thought continue would at least put me like where I was. Get those coins. Make it rain, you flying. These are like flying eyeballs of some kind. So that power up gave me a, a stronger shot. Double shot. Oh yeah. It 
It's funny how Toki's eyes go wide open when he's preparing a shot. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Good one. We'll see you later. What's up? We'll see you later. Just make a Google Sheet public for game requests. Oh, that is a great idea, Alexander. That is a great idea. Is that what American football is like? <laughs> totally. You remember when this game came out in arcades as a kid? It's funny. It's so weird. I never... I vaguely, I vaguely remember it, to be honest. I vaguely remember it in the arcade, and I vaguely remember it on Amiga. I, I know I never played it on Amiga. Until, until today. I like it. I love when you like discover a new game, a new old game, best. I like taking out these fish heads. Okay, good. I got those fish heads. Now we gotta get these monkeys. Stand up to- oh, Toki's in the crouch mode. How did I get him before? There- okay, now I'm standing up. There we go. Got him. Got him. Power up this- let's power up our breath. I love- I love the- the fire breath is rad. I wonder if I can shoot down if I grab- Can I shoot down? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, perfect. Oh, jeez. How am I supposed to defend against that piranha? That's crazy. Oh, and when you die, you lose your power ups too. Yikes. I almost jumped into that. Blue demon. I thought the I thought his bullet was gonna die out. I wasn't worried about it. But I wasn't worried about it, but I should have been worried about it. Because you have to because you have to press up to shoot up, I can't use my second button as a as a jump. And that's that's tricky. I really I really like second button as jump. Although back in the day I never played with a second button. I always used up to jump back in the day, but now that we have the technology the second button technology, I really like second button jump. Oh, I didn't know that was gonna get me. I would have kept going. Dang it. Amiga Live says, would games with violence and nudity like Deliverance be allowed on Amiga Bill Stream? I, I haven't played Deliverance. I'd have, I'd have to see how bad it how bad it is. Violence is okay. I, nudity uh, will break the, the Twitch terms of service. So I can't I can't stream any nudes. No nudies. Hopefully they won't see the opening to Loki. But yeah, any any nudies will get you banned from Twitch or uh, timed out or whatever. They'll put you in the corner. <laughs> You bust out the nudies on Twitch, and they, they give you a little bit of a, of a, of a spanking. <laughs> they give you an old slap on the wrist. Uh, Thimbleweed Park was like the ultimate discover a new old game. Oh, yeah. Thimbleweed Park, though, is, is a new game. It's just like a throwback to the old games. Like, this game is actually an old game. That, that's what I meant. Sorry if I wasn't clear. Thimbleweed Park is, is, is absolutely wonderful. Oram doesn't recall it in the arcade. In Maybe it's a UK only. It's possible, Oram. I'm here in, the, in the New York, and I don't remember this game either. It doesn't mean that we didn't have it, though. This is it. Yes. That was a good, a good crouch. Um, Dancing Wolf. Oh, Thundercats. You know, I never played Thundercats. I never played Thundercats on the Amiga. And I, Thundercats is one of my all-time favorite cartoons. You must you wish there was an Amiga version of Rat Sand Saga. When you hear the the music of the arcade version, you want to go straight back to the Amiga, especially the music for level four, the ice cavern, and the final boss. Nice. Your dog was just staring at Toki. <laughs> we'll see you later, you're in Canada. Nice. The dude in the link did the Atari port, but there was a Double project for both Atari and Amiga. I'll look up the Amiga guide. Katna, thank you for the links, dude. Is there a can I pause this thing? I can pause it. Good. 
Oh, Purple Hazemaker said he's pretty sure there's a WHD load option to enable a second button. That that would be really helpful. Thank you, Purple Haze. The other dude was the lead developer of Ocean France. Ah. Back in the day, up to jump seems normal. Now it's a pain. I, James, that is very, very true. Very, very true. You remember this one from Nick Arcade. Wow, I remember Nick Arcade. I remember that. That was that was crazy. And unless it's a triple A game like Witcher 3, then nudity is okay. Oh, really? Really? Sakatumi? I didn't I didn't know that. I thought nudity was was not allowed on, on Twitch. Who a spanking turns you on? <laughs> Hayes likes the nudies. The terms of service dashed your dreams of streaming centerfold squares. Totally rule thirds. Thanks, Amiga Live. There's sound. The sound's on. I never played Thundercats. I never played it. Alfred Chicken AGA. I haven't played that in me live, no. Yeah, Al Alexander, I think you're only hearing one channel. Katna, thank you. Thank you for the link. I wonder if there's uh, closed captions. For English. English subtitles. I love the blue in the background. That's beautiful. Oh, cheapers. Yeah, I want to continue. Hey, what's up, Retro Gaming Junction? Great to see you. No one on Nick Arcade was ever any good at this. It's a hard game. Nudity is fine as long as you have nipple covered. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm good for this opening, because... She was, the, the nip was trying to be freed, but it was not freed. <laughs> but those like those uh, those strip poker games, I think, had full like ham ham nudity. <laughs> Alexander, yeah, the sound effects are in the left channel only. Yes, I never played Thundercats. No. It's interesting to see the hardware in that vid. <laughs> I, I I have to check it out. <laughs> Ordering some some tassels and pasties there. Looking forward to Dancing Wolf's game. So we get an ADF version. I will. I can't wait to play Dancing Wolf's game. Ham hey, nudity, dude. dude. <laughs> Fairlight cracked this game a long time ago. Yo, Fairlight, holy crap, dude. Welcome to the stream. It's awesome to have you here. Wow. Fairlight, that's amazing, dude. It's, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you for coming by. Did, did Comatron, did Comatron uh, lure you in? We played his, his, uh, his track before, it's awesome. You can cover them with a disc. We'll call it a cover disc. That's a good one. <laughs> the legendary Fairlight is, is is in the chat. I'm I'm a little bit blown away right now. A little starstruck. Not gonna lie. That's why I keep saying I'm so lucky to have so many amazing people that show up in these streams. I'm so thankful and so so lucky to have so many cool people show up in the streams. Welcome, Fairlight. Fairlight, if you've never been to an Amiga Bill stream before, um. I basically, I stream once a week. I try and use real Amigas when I can. I've been an Amiga user since 1987 when I got my Amiga 500. I took over the Westchester Amiga user group in 1988. I've been running that ever since 1988. We never stopped meeting, never will. I had to take some, I had to take some uh, moments of absence and my man Mayhem maybe took over for me when I couldn't make it to the meetings. But yeah, we've been we've been meeting on the first Thursday of every month since 1988. Never stops, never will. And then my buddy Anthony and I got a YouTube channel called the Guru Meditation. Oh, that one's really hard. So I got we got it all covered. We got we got the physical Amiga group covered, Westchester Amiga user group. We got YouTube covered, and we got the live streams on Twitch covered. So welcome, Fairlight.
Fairlight when when uh when dream demos come true exactly. The coder of this game isn't using Amiga anymore, but he was trying to make his own gaming console a few years ago. <laughs> I agree. The poet, the, the music is is a bit repetitive. It sounds really nice, but it's a bit repetitive. Oh wait, if I shoot that, maybe I, I get it. Nope, I, I don't know how to get up there. That's true, mayhem maybe, you're right, we do have an Instagram. But I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm tapped out on the social media, I, I, I can only... One Instagram account is enough for me. I do Instagram for my cinematography and my photography. So if you, uh, Mayhem, the Instagram account is all you. <laughs> I, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm maxed out. <laughs> I filled up my 880 kilobytes. Yo, Mayhem, thanks for stopping by, brother. I'll be talking at you tomorrow morning. Oh, tomorrow at 12 noon. Tell, tell, uh, tell, tell wife device I said hi, ma'am. The Instagram is all you, ma'am. Because you have, you remember that the, the Instagram is like an extension of your Commodore a day. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow, ma'am. Great seeing you. Try bouncing on the enemy's mirror style to reach the high bonus. Oh, that's a good one. You also learn. You'll also learn that um, if you're new to the stream, Fairlight, you also know that I'm, I'm sometimes I'm terrible at games and I pronounce words wrong. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what part of Fairlight Fairlight is, but he might he might be part of the group. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe it is an homage to Fairlight. Possible. I know. I know. Comatron um, told a bunch of his demo scene friends to, to tune in today. So, who knows? I don't suck. The game is rough in the beginning. Later, it's easy when you get the patterns and the muscle memory. True. 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 I guess. Well, I guess it's true. I, again, I, this is my first time playing this game, but that's true. It's true with many games. Katna. Agreed. Up Cha Chan. I am playing Toki. Which is considered one of the best arcade ports on the Amiga. <laughs> I, I, I am Wog. <laughs> Skyzoo73 says, practically perfect conversion. I hope someone takes the trouble to modify it and those missing sounds, like when the monkey dies. Like many Amiga games, it is very difficult, but at the same time, I could see myself getting it if I practice. Like you said, muscle memory, learning the enemies.
<laughs> Dancing Wolf is part of this. <laughs> I, I, I buy that, Dancing Wolf. Oh, I didn't. I hit the freaking thing. Akmafin is far. Akmafin is Spartacus. Akmafin is today really your birthday? <laughs> it's true. It isn't very common. Ah, oh, no, I've seen it before. Now, I don't know what to do here, because when I drop down, that piranha comes out, like, immediately. What if I do that, and then... Oh, there we do. All right, cool. See, that was fun. I learned. I learned stuff. I figured if I jump to the left, it gives me more time to, uh, to evade the piranha. Now... Oh. I was already looking at the power-up, and I didn't... Didn't even see the... The ball get me. Purple Haze, thanks for the suggestion to play this. It's, it's a cool one, dude. Appreciate it very much. I gotta say, Rero was a really nice surprise today. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with that. Oh, jeez. Dead. So dead. I don't know how I survived that. Now you guys are, you're making me want to, uh, check out some Fair Light demos. ZX Spectrums. Yo, Mr. Middleman, thank you so much for the follow, Mr. Middleman. I appreciate it very, very much. Welcome to the stream. It's fun to speedrun this game. I bet it is, but first I need, I need a lot of practice. Dancing Wolf says, um, this is like a Friday night at the Ami Friday night Amiga user group. I agree. I, I always say these, uh, these streams are like user group meetings. And we do get, we got a lot of like super amazing people in these streams. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll jump on top of them. The game is really tough. <laughs> James, <laughs> James is hilarious. The founder of Fairlight is actually a Republican politician in the U.S. Wow, I didn't know that, Mickey DJ. Uh, I'm not sure, Alexander. I'll, I'll, I'll check again. What time is it? Seven oh six. All right, one more, one more round of uh, Loki, and then I'm gonna call the stream. Arnold Schwarzenegger found Razor nineteen eleven. <laughs> The music is definitely a little repetitive, though. Agreed. Well, not a little repetitive. It's, it's a lot repetitive. That's crazy, Amiga DJ. Thank you for the link. That is awesome. Mario style. Here we go, Amiga Live. Boom. Boom.
we know it. Regardless of which member of Fairlight Fairlight is. Everyone here is, if, ever, if people come here and they're cool, they're welcome. It looks like he's wearing a New York Giants helmet. Uh, the Giant, the New York Giants and the New York Jets are playing each other today. And they're calling it the Toilet Bowl. <laughs> because both teams are so bad. Koma says, uh, Fairlight is a cracking demo group with about 100 members over the years. So yeah, anyone can be a part of it, for sure. We are Fairlight. <laughs> I'm not Fairlight. I, I got nothing to do with Fairlight. Other than, I remember the first time I saw Fairlight was on a, a crack trail at a WOG meeting. Along with all the other crackers back in the day. Yo, James, please. Thank you so much for hanging out. I, I appreciate it very, very much. Lord Squeak. Well, Lord Squeak is Fairlight. <laughs> oh, Mr. Logan's that's hilarious. <laughs> I always I always get a good laugh during these streams too, that's awesome. <laughs> Max Rock eighty. Ciao to Italy. I, I gotta get back to Italy. I just worked with a an awesome woman from Italy this past week. What part of Italy are you, are you from? My family is from Reggio Calabria. My, you know, my ancestors. There we go, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Amiga Live, I did it. Amiga Live, I did that one. That was for you, Amiga Live. I got so excited, I just ran into the next dudes. That one's for you, Amiga Live. Amiga Live, we are so overdue for an Amiga Live stream, too. We gotta, we gotta set that up. Maybe next Sunday? Hey, have you guys heard from Hitch lately? Purple Haze or Amiga Live? Because uh, I was at uh, Rudy's house. And he, he uh, I know he he said he watched Hitch as well, and I haven't seen Hitch in a while. But I feel like uh, Hitch may have had like a life-changing moment, so I, I hope I hope all is well. I hope all is well with Hitch. I haven't seen Hitch in a while. <laughs> My name's Amiga Bob, and I'm a noisy neighbor. If you didn't grow up with the dun 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 tune of the Commodore 64 Fairlight Crack Show laser engraved into your brain, you didn't grow up properly. Yo, Wizard New Jersey. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, Wizard. Welcome to the stream. If you're just joining the stream, I see some new people following. I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff for my, for my Amigas. Usually a real Amiga. Today I'm rocking my Amiga 1200. We did, uh, I usually start my streams off with some Amiga news. Today we did a, a raffle that was a lot of fun, a little giveaway. We gave away uh, the uh, Amiga CD32 fanzine from Amiga J. Uh, then I play games. And sometimes I do creative streams as well. I stream about once a week. You never know when I'm gonna stream. I'm a moving target. <laughs> but I stream when I can. When I'm not working, I stream. And it's a lot of fun. I get amazing people in the chat. It's like a, it's like an Amiga user group meeting, a virtual Amiga user group meeting. Everyone who shows up is super cool and super nice. And uh, man, I love these streams. Welcome. Right now, I'm playing some Loki, which is considered one of the best arcade ports on the Amiga. It was a recommendation from the Purple Haze Maker, another great streamer here on Twitch. Oh, Hitch is live now? No way. Oh, Hitch was here earlier. I missed Hitch. Hitch was streaming Amiga Live today. He's been on holiday for a week or so. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I'm glad I'm glad he's good. Mr. Wilkins, you were playing Amiga Live with Hitch earlier? Oh, cool, cool. Comatron, you want to play some Amiga Live? I'm due for an Amiga Live stream.
That's Bacchus the Fairlight, the current leader. Oh, nice, Illumidus. Sweet. Misfit Rumpu says Amiga Live is the best thing since sliced bread. I think, you know what? To be honest, I think it's even better than sliced bread. I mean, sliced bread is good and all, but it ain't as good as Amiga Live. <laughs> He's from a Swedish demo party. Oh, that, that picture's from a Swedish demo party called... Good, but you know what? Let's, let's look at it. Now I'm curious. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice! Illuminus even put a red arrow over him. That's rad. I'm in the mood to go. I'm in the mood for a party. I'm in the mood for a party. Thank you for the link, Illuminus. Oh, he was playing in Sensible Soccer. Nice. Oh, we're going to have an awesome Sensible Soccer stream coming up in the next, next couple weeks. Stay tuned for that. Speedball too is tough. So I mean, so is sensible soccer. Sensible soccer, tough game, and there's so many people who are so good at it. <laughs> Retro gaming Denmark, ZX Spectrum for life. No, it's so funny because I know so many people are into into the Spectrum, but growing up here in New York, I I never had any experience with the Spectrum until I got into into Retro. I know the Amigos are super stoked on the Spectrum. It is, it is a cool looking machine. Oh, Ram, I don't know what's with that football helmet. I, it's some kind of shield. Four player Dino Blaster, nice. Nice. Did he get the tattoo of the Fairlight logo? Oh, seriously, he was really thinking about gonna get it? That'd be that'd be rad. Yeah, for the record, I, I was the, the first to stream Amiga Live. I think I was one of the first to actually use Amiga Live too, right? Amiga Live? I meant to do that. <laughs> I was like I was an Amiga Live beta tester, remember that? Back in the day? The guy in blue in the photo runs Commodore64.com. Oh, cool. Poetic Android has Spectrum, awesome little machine. Yeah, I never... It does look like a New York Giants helmet. That's, uh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I got aggressive there. I thought I'd be able to get him before he got moved to Spear. I finally, uh, Amiga Live, I, I finally upgraded to the new version of FSUAE. I did it before the stream. I was still on like 208 or something like that. I know it's up to like 3 now. I was still on 2 something. Do you still play uh, GTA, Amiga Live? Here we go. There we go. That was for you, Amiga Live. That was for you. I've been not, I picked up some GTA 5 again. So I love that game. It's amazing. Oh, cool! It looks like you can shoot their bullets, which makes a huge difference. Oh, that guy with the spear, jeepers! You need to repair your Specky. I've had at least 10 different ZX Spectrums now, clones and whatnot, very fun machine. Commodore 64, Amiga, PC, Amiga 64. Hazemaker is rocking them all. I was the first OSX tester of Amiga Live. I used Amiga Live when it wasn't even called Amiga Live. I'm digging this. This is a nice tune. This is a real nice tune. Sigur, you might get a Spectrum next. 
N next thing I want to do is get my my pal Amiga 1200 up and running. It's all about the Mega 65. Oh, dude, the Mega 65 looks awesome. Amiga Live has never needed testing. It's always been 100% awesome. Oh, you haven't played GTA in three years. My buddy and I play it on PC. Amiga Live, it's, it's fun. Red Dead 2. How is the how is the multiplayer in Red Dead 2? Amiga Live, you're doing God's work over there, dude. God's work, I'm telling you. Let's see what's going on. I'm gonna wrap up the stream real soon, everyone. Well, speaking of Spectrums and Hitch, We'll give him a raid. I haven't seen Hitch in, in years, man. It feels like years. We'll give Hitch a raid. The high score tune is really good, right, Purple Haze? Yeah, I'm totally gonna raid Hitch. Let me do this, hold on. Copy that, cool. Control C. What happened to my Amiga over here? I wanna go out with some music. I wanna go out with some tunes. You know what? Print screen. Delete. Get out of here. F10. Escape. Misfit, cheers to you. Misfit, cheers to everyone for hanging out today. Today was a really amazing stream. I, I It's funny because I kind of had high hopes for today's stream and it, it went well. It went well. So many amazing people showed up. It was awesome hanging out with everyone. I I do the streams hanging out with my friends, and you guys are, are really the best. Let's see, show. We're going to go out with Comatron's song again. Okay, great. Yeah, let me switch over here just so there's no delay. <laughs> We're going to go out with Comatron. My man Comatron made a new tune for, for the Amiga. It is uh, being entered. Is, it, is that a competition, Comatron, or is it just going to be in the disc magazine? It's the world premiere of Comatron's new song. I'm going to go out with this. Let me just... My brain's stopping to, stopping working now. <laughs> um, hippo player. That, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I meant to do. Add. Volumes. Compact flashcard. Boom. Music. Oh. Losing it. It's the Comatron directory, obviously. There we go. Yo, cheers, Misfit. Upa Chan, thank you for hanging out. Akmafin, dude, Akmafin, a very happy birthday to you, Akmafin. I hope I hope you're having a great day. I'm honored. I'm honored that you chose to spend a uh, part of your birthday with me, man. That is, that is awesome. We're gonna rate Hitch. Sigor, thank you for hanging out. Uchba, you met some new friends today. Dude, that's awesome, Uchba. Uh, thank you for hanging out, Uchba. It's a pleasure to have you. Amiga Live, thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. Snow Dog, cheers. My beer's empty. I'm going to go watch the Rangers. I'm going to get my wife going on her stream, and then I'm going to meet up with my buddies, and we're going to watch the Rangers and, and drink beers. This Michelob Vulture is not even really a beer, so I feel like I haven't even drank any beer yet today. Comatron, thank you for the awesome track. Congrats on the track. Go hang out in that deer stand. Go hang out in that deer stand. Drink a couple of brews. <laughs> Purple Haze Maker, thank you for hanging out. It's a pleasure. It's a small world, right? Rudy's, Rudy's new you and Hitch. That's so. It's such a small world. I was so psyched. Thanks for the suggestion with Loki. I appreciate that so much, Haze. Misfit is Pond Soft. Yeah. <laughs> Fairlight. It was an honor to have Fairlight here today too. Amiga DJ, awesome hanging out. And uh, if you want to come to. Come to the party with me again. It's December 6th. I plan on going if I'm not working, and the real Tony Rocks will be there as well. And we'll get you the Sony Bio. We'll get you the Emac too if you want it. <laughs> but I think that one's going to be hard to give away. Ryzen, so glad I got to participate in the chat here. Amiga Build, the community is awesome. Ryzen, well, I'm so glad 
and the community is so glad to have you here. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm going poetic. I'm going out with some coma. Akmafin is ocean. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your games, Akmafin. Andy Amiga 7. Andy Amiga 7, one of the things I'm going to have to do tonight is send out an email. I'm still good to go for the log meeting on Wednesday. However, my Thursday night has also freed up, so I don't know if we want to meet on Thursday or Wednesday. We have, uh, we have many riches. Hazemaker, I love the, the, uh, I, I love the, the GIF emote. Akmafin, of course, my man. Happy birthday, dude. Misfit, good night. Comatron said the track is by him and Dascon. He's a big Dascon fan, so this was an honor. And it's an honor to stream it here first, Comatron. Thank you for all the support, man. I, I appreciate it. Cheers, Amiga DJ. And cheers to uh, Amiga J for for the gifts. Toki made by Fairly. Do you like the Toki? Who is Loki? <laughs> Arcade night. Oh yeah, I would love to do an arcade night. That'd be that'd be really fun. When you get your my art, you'll hire all the old school Amiga coders to make new games. Katna, well you're you'll be in luck. There's so many new Amiga games coming out that are awesome. Thursday's good for you, Andy. I'm gonna send out an email. Yo, 10 minute Amiga Retrocast. Thank you for the kind words. 10 minute, I'm gonna go check out your video. 10 minute, if you wanna drop your video in the chat, go for it. 10 minute Amiga Retrocast went out to Ami West. One of the, probably the biggest Amiga show here in the United States. It was a couple weeks ago and he gave, he made a video about, about it. He made a show report video over on his awesome YouTube channel. So I, I'll, I'll check that out tonight too, 10 minute. Amiga has been reborn, Oram, I agree, agreed. Oh, the Switch has got a port of Toki. Nice, Hazemaker. That's awesome. Agmafin's an old Amiga coder. <laughs> he is. I can't wait for your game to come out. Agmafin. I tested it. I tested it on my 4000. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. I, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call it call the stream. I'm not sure when I'm gonna stream next. Maybe next Sunday. We'll see. But I have. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a new Guru video this week. I I have half of it shot. I need to shoot the rest. I need to edit the rest. So check youtube.com slash the guru meditation. There'll be a new video coming out probably next Monday. Maybe by the end of this week. I'm not sure. It all depends when I get time to do it. So new guru video coming out. I'll be streaming in another week from now. If you want to know when I stream, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I am at the guru meditate, facebook.com slash the guru meditation, or you can join my discord channel. and announce all my streams at least 24 hours in advance. Today was an epic stream. It's a pleasure having you all here. Thank you, everyone. That's a sexy 1200. I love, I love this 1200. It's a beauty. Wait till you see the new one I'm building. Oh, Rom, Anthony was here. He was in chat, but he's he he's eating dinner now. Sakatumi, good stream. I love all the old tunes. Nice. Anthony is gonna be in the new Guru video too. He'll be there. Don't worry. The Switch Four of Tokyo was made by some of Tokyo Mega developers. Oh, nice Haze. Awesome dude. Comatron, yeah, sure, dude. Who is it? Now to get my spare 8500 keyboard to fit in your 1200 build, nice. <laughs> nice choosy, Scott. Um, or you can get the Rasport, the new, the new one from Rasport. Walker GR, what's up, buddy? Sorry, I didn't see you before. You still want a 1200? Pretty sure they've been increased in price ever since the release. Yeah, right. Oh, it's my Rygar friend. Oh yeah, Graham Cowie. He does. He's doing awesome development videos over on his YouTube channel. Agreed. Agreed. Graham is the man. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll be in touch on all the social medias throughout the week. I hope to see you next week. We're gonna take it to the hot tub. We'll give Hitch a raid. It's been awesome hanging out with everyone. Have a great week, and thanks to everyone for hanging out today. Peace out, and Amiga forever. Thanks to everyone for hanging out today. I appreciate you all very, very, very much. Thank you. Have a great week, everybody. Amiga forever, peace out. Thanks for watching.